<laughs> you, eat, you eat peep how my boy tried to look at me serious. You know how like a nigga wants you to get serious? He look at you straight day. <laughs> not on the park. <laughs> Said not on the pub. Okay. He know it, but he must know it's his turn. <laughs> nigga, don't try to get serious with me. Next time's my turn. The that whole nigga, thing was a joke about me. That nigga, that nigga looked at me in my eye. Like, hey, we, not on the pub, okay? Uh -huh. Nigga, I can talk about what I want. He stomped his foot over there. Dude. Put his <laughs> hand on his. Assassin. Put your hands off your hips, my nigga. <laughs> nigga hey, not on the pub, okay? Fuck y'all too. We ain't doing that, <laughs> good. We, we can mess hard. with you. We want to. Uh, here you go, Todd uh, Junior. Uh, don't want nobody to talk about him. This shit just happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> you, it was your fault. God, yeah. Don't talk about me on the podcast, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. We finna talk about you all this motherfucking week, nigga. You, you in the road? You got two <laughs> wins now. Think about it like that. You got two wins, man. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you tuning in to the Dummies Podcast? I'm Stop. I'm Joe. In the motherfucking hoodie, nigga. I'm, I'm dog. Yeah, dog. Yep, uh, we missing them, uh, but we back like we never left. Cause like we say every week, we never leave. Uh, I want to apologize to y'all out there because last week I did not introduce our podcast. I can't believe I did that. I mean, did we? Was it a good? I mean, the way we just came in, I was so you know how you get excited, goddamn, because. Uh, you ain't did some shit in a long time and you just skip over it. That's, that's, that's what I did. Blame it on that. But um, it's Friday. What the fuck is the date? The February 8th. the 8th. February the 8th. Is it the 8th? It's the 8th. Okay. Episode 21. And uh, like I said, we back like we never left because like we say every week, we never leave. You know what I'm saying? Episode 21. Yeah. Uh, where we at, who? The only reason I know it's the 8th, I've been writing the date all fucking day, man. I didn't have... Writing and paperwork That shit crazy That shit good so trend. Well, You gotta write the date And then you go somewhere Outside of work And then you can't Remember the damn yeah, date no. like, It's the, the 58th date? I ain't not have wrote this shit A hundred times <laughs> Yeah man But um What, what happened uh, Super Bowl guys The, the Super Bowl, Bowl Really about Super Bowl man A lot of people been saying That their Super Bowl was boring So How was y'all Super Bowl man What all, what all y'all did What all we did Should I say that uh, well, we had our normal Super Bowl party. Super Bowl party. Everybody bought they won so we could exchange favors for each other. You know do, what I mean? Do we want to tell them what we brought our ones mean? So do we want to keep our party our party? Um, I like cause I, 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 I can I can see how they oh they had ones that they party they got strippers and shit. Man, because every time I go try to get my ones, like I go get $40 or $30, I'm like, hey, let me get all ones. They be looking like, what y'all finna do? Strip I did get the eyes when I commented. You know what I mean? Well, when I posted. But uh, maybe we'll do a Dummies Live Super Bowl. You got the day. eyes? Yeah, the eyes. Like, what y'all got going on? You oh, know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out of our business. Yeah, so we got our we got something going. That's all <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, nah, but you know, we, you we exchange favors. You know, we watch the plays and we determine what we want to do. Um... But what you was about to say? You about to say something about your experience about the Super Bowl being born? Uh, no, nah, I just I just saw a lot that uh, of people saying this is the most boring Super Bowl. I kind of enjoyed it because like every it. play matters, just like uh, the six three Alabama LSU game. We all I, remember I, that. Yep. that was a great that's, game. That's a great, that was a great like, game. To us every play matter because if you break one, that breaks open the game. I guess I kind of like football, and a lot of people don't. And I've noticed that But people who like football Have been the ones That say they like yeah. And some of them Not all of them But all majority of, them. of the ones But to me that, that this like shit just, It just play into Today's time To me like I, I, Again we live in a Microwave age Everybody wants uh, 30, Instant 30, gratification nine. You want the score To be 106 to 5 This is football people If y'all don't like this shit Man go watch another sport or go watch some other shit. Don't come fucking with football because you want it to be like Instagram or Twitter to be 15 seconds. Of, like, nigga, this shit is a long game. Mm -hmm. It's strategy behind the game. And it's a chess match. So if you're watching a game and it's only 6-3 or it's not a lot of points being scored, that's because it's a defensive matchup. Exactly. And sometimes those are, are, are great You're games hard. because I'm trying to figure out what I can do on my side to get in the end zone mm -hmm. and you trying to figure out how to stop me and we having a chess match because we figuring each other out and that is good football people shut the fuck up and like you said it's a chess match uh, a lot of people don't know how to play chess meaning it's much more right. harder it's than more, a 58-59 right. yeah, it's harder to be 53 53 and they say that's a good game that is a great game but mm -hmm. That's not necessary. Like, God damn, y'all gave up 58 points. I had a blast. Holding the Patriots to what, 13 points, right? What was the yeah, final score? 13-3. Right. 
Holding a Patriots of 13 points is a feat. And hey, holding man. that Rams offense, who to has three. been very explosive, to three. That was half the people brilliant probably said they probably don't even watch the game. You know, they just sit in there for the fucking party, man. I didn't even like the commercial, so that made their game bad. Yeah, <laughs> fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I, I love the game. I, I, I love the commercial. Like people tell me, I'm, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I'm going to watch Iana Fix My Life. Man, if you don't get me by your goddamn Iana ain't fix no goddamn body <laughs> this whole damn time. Y'all dumbasses keep running her ass. Your life ain't even fixed. You need her to yeah, fix but, your life if you watching that instead of the Super Bowl. But it was a good week, yeah. man. All in all, man. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the podcast. Mm-hmm. The man, podcast. The uh, fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl. Y'all, had any, y'all had any fucking uh, good commercials? I like the Bud Light Game of Thrones. I like Bud Light. I like Game of Thrones. That was dope. The one I remember the most is the... Uh, the program one, it was like the program. Marshawn Lynch, oh, not the football. That was off super the live. That yeah, was super that, was super that was the live. Man. Like, I, and I could tell it might might have been one of the lives one because you know the group message, different group messages were going off. A lot of people were saying something. So mm-hmm. I felt like the, that was the live one too. Oh, so, uh, let me ask you a question. A topic I want to bring up. Uh, Travis Scott having the time to think about it. Was it worth him doing it? I, I didn't. Bet. I didn't. I maybe maybe not. I didn't care either way. He came up out in. I'm glad you brought that up because it's a halftime show. It's like a lot of people didn't like the halftime show. We was in there jamming for the halftime show, and we don't. It's not like we even listen to that kind of music, man. Oh, but boy, pe- what the it, fuck, them niggas? Hell no, I can't tell you a song. But, but it, it just was in there. It was yeah. hype. It was a good atmosphere. Yeah. You know how you how you just the cups was flowing exactly. Well, would you have enjoyed if you was by yourself? The Super Bowl or halftime? The halftime. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. I can't say. I probably would have been doing something different, but it didn't bother me. And mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, I will get into that. I got something a little later, you know what I'm saying, on in the podcast about how I feel about stuff like that. But, you know, we'll get there. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a great week. But uh, looking forward into this week, man, uh, we know uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Valentine's uh, Day. Yeah, man, y'all, y'all Times need, of times. I'm, I'm curious, though. Like, I, I got my opinion, but I want to know how y'all feel. Like, straight up. Like, do y'all, do you guys... Fool with Valentine's Day? Do you celebrate Valentine's Day? And if you don't, why? Why not? I celebrate it because I woke up that day, so it's just February the thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. I do the same shit on that day. I do on the rest of those goddamn <laughs> days, goddamn but, goddamn right? But on the actual fourteenth, I mean, 14th, day that they got hot and shit on. Do you celebrate that shit? Like straight up? Not really, man. I'm not. I'm not going to get balloons and flowers and shit like that for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But I do see that she kind of. Like that shit, I want that shit. So you know, it's to a point where you're gonna have to do that shit. You know Excluding I mean? her and uh, her feeling uh, and what she think about. I don't care for it. Do do you think that I don't care about do you it? You think it's important? No. Do you think it matters? Fuck no. Why not? What the, what's the purpose of it? First of all, I'm just I, asking. I'm I don't asking. even know the purpose of it. To show you I love you, I did that yesterday. I disagree. <laughs> I did um, that yesterday, goddamn. I figured you disagree. <laughs> Hang on, but I think Valentine's Day is stupid and it's pointless. You agreed. No, no, but, but that's what I, I think. disagree to agree. Okay, I'm going to wait to let me hit a right. disagreement. That's what Come I on. think, but uh, oh, all that. our opinions don't have to match. So, I, well, I'm talking about you and your spouse. So okay. far, matching. So, so if it's important to her, then I'll give the effort whether I care about it or not. I agree. I agree so with just that, that but part of it. Then, and she, uh, she hadn't cared, and the reason why I would do that, because she don't really care about it. You know what I'm saying? If she asks for some shit on that day to do something today, then I'll more than likely try to do it because she don't really care or ask either also. So, I guess. I think Valentine's Day corn as fuck. Bang. Yeah. I'm just going to be straight up. I think Bang. it's a corn ass day. I think it's some shit that's made up that they pulled out their ass. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> but, like he said, like if it means that much to you that you have to get a balloon and a card, the same one that I got the last 52 years or however long it's been, then I'll play the little paper bag game. Mm-hmm. But, I just feel like it's corner. Like, I, you, you, you hear people like, um, trying to figure out, ooh, what can I do? It's a uh, woman's day or men's day or both day? No, but it's definitely not a man's day. I don't give a fuck what you say, nigga. Well, we well, don't. Because think about it. Every nigga that you know be like they don't care. But I just feel like like you put... Oh, no, yeah. One nigga. Better. But I, I, he the only <laughs> nigga in America that like Valentine's. I ain't no, never met a nigga I, that like I, it. I never said I like Valentine's Day. Yeah, you kind of did. My spouse Don't does, try to change it because you liked me. it. Hang on, hang on. He like, getting the, he like getting the little bell with the give candy. My, I don't like get up there. What my heart said. What my little heart <laughs> be mine. She does uh, give me. My shut little, the fuck up. My what little, is bro- wrong with you niggas? My little bracelet in the box. <laughs> you got an anklet. little bell with the little heart ass. Usually I get something that I like. It's electronic or 
a shoe or something that I like. So that should be cool. But man. how can I ask you a question? If that day, and and I get it, I know people are gonna say. So for you, it's about the gifts too. Yeah, I get a gift too. So it's about the gift, just well, the gift now. But how live would it be to just get a gift on March twelfth? I appreciate it just as much. It doesn't mean more to me that it came on the fourteenth. I, I think so. It then, with that still being said, Valentine's Day really doesn't matter. Hey, hold, right. hold. But re- I get something. I know reason, I'm going to get. Something. The reason why I say it mean more to me on March twelfth is because that's it's not random. the day somebody told you to do it. Yeah, it's random. Like it's random as fuck. So I'm just walking out. Might have had a bad day. I'm just chilling, and then I come home, and then bow. You got something like what the fuck? What what's this for? Just cause it's okay. Let my man well, go his heart. Well. Yeah. The date means to me. I don't mean, mean, you know I don't mean to land on your parade. Yeah. <laughs> the gift means the same to me on any like Christmas, birthday, all that shit. I'm appreciate the same, or rather, you gave it to me on September 25th. I just, I don't I'm appreciate it all the same. And, and, I, and I'm not saying it. I, I just feel like that. Uh, and even sometimes with Christmas, I think sometimes we get bogged down. I, I know people get anxiety and people get kind of like feel a lot of pressure because. You know, they, they want to get something. You want to make sure you get something nice. And then you're worried about, is it going to be nice enough? And then I, I feel like sometimes we 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 get bogged down into the wrong issue. I'll like, tell you what I'm not going to do. The wrong now, reason. Yeah, what I'm not going to do is read your mind. <laughs> no, no, no. Not even that. I'm not getting caught up in no materialistic shit. Yeah, like I, I I'm don't just care. Not, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm the type of person, tell me what you want. And then if it's in the budget, then I'll get that. And, 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 and I hear you, but I, I'm just saying like for the masses, we talk to a lot of people. So like, you know, some people do, you know, get caught up in like, is this going to be enough for her? Or is this going to be enough for, you know, so I've heard women say like, is this going to be enough for him? Is he going to be comfortable with this gift. I spent $200 for it, but it's only one thing. Mm-hmm. Or do I buy 52 small things? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people do worry about that. I'm glad you said that. When girls ask you that you cool with what they should get their guy, like, I be like, well, he really ain't care. Give him some cologne or a shirt. I'm like, not answering that question because I don't I, know your don't guy. Know like, I don't know what he do. Just, right. just get him. I don't know. Get him like, like. Just like you. The nigga might well, want the bell with the heart. T-shirt. Exactly. So I'll like, say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say like you said, that nigga want the bell with the heart. <laughs> I, I'll say I like, you, like you said, you'll ask what you want if it's in the budget again. Yeah. So that's what my advice would be. I just be like, ask what do you like? Ask is he a him. video no, no, no. gamer? Ask he, him what he wants. Just ask just him and he's like, going to tell you. I, I just see people get mad. I don't like surprise. I just see people get mad. And when they, when you ask them why they got mad, they it'll be because, oh, my coworkers, Fuck. all of them had uh, bears and, and edible arrangements and flowers, and I didn't have anything. Just, so just, fucking what? Should have asked them. Got, they might have got a whole Bentley the day before. Right. Mm. And then they said that on the 14th, they didn't but get I can't shit. post it on Valentine's Day, man. Social media That's ain't crazy. real. We, take that same... I just got this house. Uh-huh. Take that same house and post that bitch goddamn six months later. Every day. The same thing. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> fucking right. Tomorrow. Yeah, but I just I just want to ask y'all how y'all felt because I know Valentine's Day coming up. It's a day of love. And I understand because I've, I've had a lot of women in the past and, and, and say that, like, you know... Well, it's, it's just a little card. It's just something small. I, I agree, but sometimes something small, you don't know what that person have to go through to get get that something, something small. small. Yeah. And then to me, like, just don't I mean, put pressure on it. Yeah, if it's thoughtful, that kind of mean more than if it's like, damn, how the fuck you knew I wanted that? That means more to me on any day. So with that being said, y'all got any plans? Any plans for Valentine's Day? Mm, I think we're going to have a little shindig, but like, no plans. I hate going out on Valentine's Day. That shit whacked to me. Everybody be out. All right. Mm, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day. Shout out to the Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody who enjoy, enjoy your motherfucking Valentine's right. Day. Don't let us affect it negatively or positively. But And for the ones who don't have Valentine's, hey, you still somebody. Don't be out there sad and shit because some people get fake. Because I'm telling you, it's probably somebody who gets some Valentine's Day shit. Who nigga got down, got 16 girlfriends or some shit, man. Right. Uh, or or she got got down 16 boyfriends. Don't don't feel bad because of what. And that's the next thing that I really don't like about it. Like that? some people it feel, a lot of people it make feel bad. a lot of people feel bad because they don't have somebody yeah, to get them put, that little bell. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Fuck it. I, I I haven't been surfing lately. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to make myself get on there to go find some shit, but I find myself most time I pull my phone my phone out. I'm playing Tetris over there. Tetris. Tetris. He does. Like ancient ad game, didn't it? And then, like, you know what I'm saying? If you feel a certain type of way and you think there's a reason why you don't have a date, you know, Willpower Fitness is here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that nigga wants you. Come but, on. but, um, Come on. 
Yeah, fuck that. It's February, man, and I want to make sure that I give a big uh, shout out. It's Black History Month, but uh, it's, Black, our history. it's Black History Month our, all the goddamn time. But I just found the Black History effect. Um, I bet most of you didn't know that the man who make the Lacoste polo shirts, man, that man is a black man. Uh, he's up. a French black man. Uh, what the fuck that nigga name? He was a tennis player. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah, he was known as the Crocodile. That's why on the logo, it's a it's a little Crocodile logo. So, shouts out to the Crocodile. His name is uh, Rene Lacosta, a French tennis player who was known to the fans as the Crocodile. Just said that shit. Um, he basically introduced the shirt in 1929. Uh, if you see the picture, you see my man, he had a big ass blaze on with a big crocodile on it. Mm. Dope. That's where we got the Lacoste shirt, or Lacosta, Lacoste. When that was? Uh, 1929 is when he introduced it. Um, yeah. so yeah, man. Shouts shout out to my man. Yeah, shouts out to my man for bringing I had that. a lot of that shit, though. Man, I, I had, used had the shoes, Lacoste, I had the yeah. hat. Yeah, you look like you had the whole I had the hat. setup. The, the it was a Lacosta like and what else? It was another brand. Is it Lacosta or Lacoste? Lacoste. I think it's uh, Lacoste. But it was whatever you one. call it. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Lacoste, God, dude. Give so I just wanted to give my man a big shout out for uh, uh, Black History Month. Black History Month. Uh, shout out to, uh, since we're on Black History, shout out to uh, Frank Robinson, uh, the first African American manager in the Major League Baseball and only player to win MVP in both leagues. Nope. You know Shouts out to him, man. Uh, he entered the Hall of Fame in 82. And he just, you know what I'm saying? Opened a lot of doors in baseball, you know what I'm saying? As a player and as a coach. So, shouts out to Frank. Shouts out to him. And shouts out to all y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to all you black men up in here. And uh, shouts out Jacob, too, you know what I'm saying? But shouts out to all you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, goddamn. We'll introduce y'all to Jacob one of these days, goddamn. So, what's up with these white folks in blackface? They love it, man. I don't know why. Um, but I'm, I can't say they love it. I'll say they loved it. Um, no, they because a lot it. of it, a lot of it was older stuff, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but the people who are still doing it are just fools. You, you're just stupid. Like the um, girls in uh, Oklahoma recently, mm, Oklahoma, uh, at, yeah, at, at, University of Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the governor, the it wasn't the lieutenant governor, but he was the third in line governor that would be governor. He said he did blackface. Like, what is wrong with y'all? And that was in Virginia. Oh, uh, Virginia, yeah. And then the other guy, like the the, the second in charge, well, the like, second some, one, some like rape or something. People some came out with uh, two rape sexual assault. I don't, I want to say rape. It was it's sexual the top, assault. Basically, the top three in charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if the, the governor street. goes down, it goes to the black guy, but he has two uh, accusations out on him now. Mm -hmm. And then the third guy admitted to being to doing blackface. Mm -hmm. so. They had pictures of a, a video or something out about. Yeah, the other guy tried to get ahead of it. it was he knew that it was out there, and he went ahead. First, he tried to say it wasn't him, but it's in his yearbook under his page. And mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the first dude. The second nigga, the, the second dude. Like, he just he, came out with, yeah, like, he hey, just came, hey, I, I know did it's it before. There. But look, okay, <laughs> check this out. I wonder why it was so cool I, back then. I know, I, this should be hard to say, right? I'm not going to say that, um, I'm not going to say that with this particular issue, right? But we have all been in an age where we probably got some pictures or we probably got something out there that that's not acceptable if we decide to be political we've all figures said, we've all said or stuff like that. I, I can't... I, I understand what blackface represents. I understand what it means. And I, I, I'm tired of... I'm just like you. I'm tired of seeing white folks uh, who use this in a demeaning way, in a derogatory way, like we like we see all the time, it's it's perfectly good ways to be Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson and not put on a blackface. If you put on a, a Bulls but, 23 jersey, you're Michael Jordan. Yeah, and put on the shoes. We know who you are. Yeah. We get it. Chew you some gum, you know, walk, do a little walk. We gave your head. But what I, I guess what my thing is, like, at what point, at what point, and I mean, aside from, you know, like rape or uh, uh, like killing murder, someone, yeah, murder, yeah, yeah. something like that. At what point do sometimes we like, you know, we are, I don't think there's too many people in this country at this at, that didn't do stupid shit at mm -hmm. in college age when you was drunk or at some, and I'm not talking about just this blackface issue. So don't say, oh, you letting them get away with no, a lot of shit. I'm saying just in general. Period. Across the board. We all got some shit that we might have said or did that we may not be proud of that could come out. Like, do we still hold a 55-year-old or 45-year-old, 60-year-old accountable for something 
that maybe they did when they was 21, 20. What are y'all thoughts? Depending I'm, I'm on well, like it, said, it depends on what it is. I think that's aside like, from aside yeah, from rape, rape aside murder. from hurting someone, you know, where you physically hurt someone. At what point do you say like, "Hey, man, I was young and dumb and don't know the"? Because I, I, I'm gonna tell you, like, I was, I young, know some shit that I would think or do that I was pretty dumb with. I know there's a lot of shit we all have done from 14, 15 up until 25, 26 to to live a lifetime. And if that shit, you know, what I'm saying, was out here, it'd be a story, right? So I'm, I, I really, it's not really much of that shit I care about. You know, what I'm saying a lot of these uproars and you're getting mad about this and that. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. I really just don't, man. It got to be some severe shit in order for me to really care about it. Now, it's a story, and I brought it up, but to tell you the truth, I fought the girls at Oklahoma more than I fought the guy, uh, the governor. I, yeah, if you I still don't do, care about if you. you if you're still doing this shit in today's time, you're, you're pretty crazy. stupid. Yeah. Like how we see them teachers and stuff, like, that's pretty stupid. That's the, yeah. <laughs> like, if any... Nigga, from this point forward, if you get caught in blackface, you're stupid. You've been stupid for the longest. But I guarantee you, know. we're going to find another case next week where somebody just did the shit. And when Halloween just, come yeah. up, we're going to have yeah, eight we cases. Do then with that, you're just being stupid on purpose. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just dumb, man. And you I mean, know, you know. Man. But at the end of the day, to your question, I don't know what the fuck up with them. Stop fucking doing the shit, man. It is disrespectful. Um, it, 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 it brings up uh, a lot of uh, negativity in our community. Stop doing it. Leave the shit alone. Period. Uh... And get off this the uh, the Gucci thing. What's your thoughts on that? The Gucci thing. Oh, the, uh, the I don't care. The little, it's, it's, the little it's, I would they wear say it. those black faces. They black say it was black face, but I would wear it. It's a it's a ski mask, man. That's all. I've been looking for a ski mask for the longest. I think at best it was insensitive, but not racist. I just think it was some trendy shit. You know, they always trying to. It was a turtleneck that was a little long. What made it kind of iffy was the red look. And that's how they it's portray Gucci. blackface. Gucci yes. is red and all of that shit. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Like I said this in the group chat. Like, if they would have added green into it, it would have been no problem. But why red, though? Tell me, oh, the, the sambo. Yeah, the, the gotcha, sambo gotcha, thing. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's where I could see it was insensitive. But it wasn't, it wasn't the whole face either. It wasn't. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't care. Like, if I would have seen it without the context... I don't think I, I would have ran it. to racist. Like, I saw it. I was scrolling. I saw it, and I kept scrolling because I didn't read it. Well, I, just I saw, saw it with the context. I, I mean, it... I, and so, and then when of, I first seen it, I was like, well, maybe they're racist. So, that's why a lot of times I don't really... I don't really read the comments or the captions or, you know, I just look at the shit for what it is most times because I'm really just scrolling. So, a lot of times I ain't reading that shit. I just feel like, too, like... I think we're sensitive. We sensitive to Overly. everything that's, that's racial and stuff right now. But I also feel like, I mean, at this point... Uh, I mean Gucci. I mean, like maybe hire me. You pe uh, mm -hmm. you people in these little corporations, man. Hire me to approve the shit that you put out to make sure black. Because it's clearly somebody ain't doing the job right, and you probably paying them a whole lot of money. Hire me, man. I take care of y'all and make sure y'all don't do stupid shit. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hey, that's gonna be a little risky. They gonna come at your ass if you put that out there. Mm -hmm. So. But Will it always be something? Or maybe if you did it, will it be something that you didn't know that this was offensive to these I people? Think, you put no. it out there? I think no. if, if anyone of us... Because I'm a no... I don't know if it's... Like the Gap commercial. Mm -hmm. Why would you put a monkey up with a black butt? Don't do it. Why would you... like like? You Why don't we have some other... That was over in Europe somewhere. I don't know where it was. It was I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hire yeah. me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hire me and I'll let you know. God damn, that's it. You let me go know. I got y'all. I think if you had um, a high position at... Gap or Gucci. You should know that. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know this gonna cost some shit, right? Yeah. But I think it, that's easy to point out. Like, no, don't put a black boy with monkeys. You should, I mean, we say that, but we don't, I guess not. Shit. Don't put somebody <laughs> in all black face guess, with red lips. I guess not. Because it's not. Like I said, I mean, yeah. like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a, a bunch of sensitivity and it's also a bunch of. Lack of understanding, and you put both of those together, we're and gonna, it, we're gonna combined, find shit every week. That's combined with people risk. looking for shit to be mad about. Oh yeah, people yeah. look all day yeah, because that that gives them like. What did Allen sue on Amazon though? What? <laughs> what Allen? He sue on Amazon. He uh, uh, Microsoft man. What Allen? The movie nigga. The movie. Oh, the movie. movie the white man can't jump. No, nigga, no, that's, that's with the Harrelson. Actor. <laughs> 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 the old nigga who uh, they say messed with, with Alan him. married his with, uh, married granddaughter. His granddaughter, something like that. The old white man. Yeah. Well, he what happened was uh, last year he sued Amazon because they had like a four movie book deal, uh, movie deal, 
And he was supposed to help Amazon get their movie part of Amazon popping. Um, and so now he, Amazon terminated that shit because they signed the deal some years ago. But then last year, Amazon came back and said, it didn't, the shit pop back up. Me too got him. That shit from 58 years ago popped up and they they fired him. And he was like, he's suing there for like 160, 160 million. Oh, 68 million. It's a lot of millions. It's something like yeah, that. It's a million. It's a million. He's suing the ass and goddamn. It's probably gonna go in his favor for the simple fact that Amazon knew about all of these dealings before they hired him. That's true. It's been out there. Mm-hmm. So he probably got a good case. Speaking of Amazon, gonna do some shit. Man, Man Bezo, Bezo yeah. had uh, yeah. He said the National Enquirer or something. But he finna sue them too. So like, I mean, yeah. it just, I mean, that's big business, man. Yeah, you, that's some big money right there, yeah, boy. Yeah, you let your lawyers go up there and fight the case and. You go sit there and sip my tie somewhere. Mm-hmm. So, so we'll see. Uh, who is the National Enquirer do? Uh, said a lot of shit. Maybe coming out about him. Uh, about that National Enquirer shit. You know what I'm saying? Probably a lot of stories like that. We trying to blackmail people. Probably so. So we'll we'll see. That sounds about right. You be trying try to get your story. Bezos yeah. got the money to file. When they gonna let my man news fly? Keep my, keep that nigga news intact. I don't yeah, want to see nobody that. clicking on that link. <laughs> yeah, put them in the in the safe with Trump tax. Just like I, I wasn't want clicking that. on the Spice One link in the group chat. I didn't Spice even one? click. <laughs> Tub put that shit in there. Talking about Spice the rapper? One, talking about Migos. Yes. You didn't see that? No, I didn't. Tub put that okay, shit in there. So you ain't click on yeah, it either. I'm not clicking on that. I didn't no. even see the caption though. I don't care what Spice One did when he was in his prime. I like the Spice if One I ain't song. I'm going from back to the future. Spice one, spice one, spice one. Nigga. The only spice one song I know is from Minister Society. That's it. Oh, That's all of you gonna know. Sorry, that's MC8. That was MC8. That was that. MC8. Never mind, spice but one. Spice yes. one was on that on that soundtrack. My pops <laughs> listened to that shit. So no, spice one. Tom, stop putting spice one in our motherfucking group message. Oh, um, we had you know it was kind of serious topics. So, uh, I had a question. As we know it. And, you know, we don't deal in that world that much when we decide to go out, maybe. It's the club as we know it over? No, we just, it's just for us it is. I well, think. Cause I the still club think, that we know, is it over? Like, what you mean? The, the club partying, dancing, having a good time. I think. Mingling with people. Not, I, a, not in college, I don't think. No, I, yeah. I think it's I mean, all over. I mean, I think I think the club been dying. Like I, I, I've been seeing the recent reports of people saying you go in the club and people just standing around looking. Mm-hmm. I think the club was dying when we was going to the club too, but we was going to the club because it was fun. Mm-hmm. So when I when I look at an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old, they probably go in that bitch and have a great time yeah. standing around looking at people. They had fun. You know they had fun. And also, we went. I mean, you, you used know to be in that saying, dancing and shit. Doing that, yeah, to, to, to get girls. All <laughs> oh, beat, but. You was dancing? Yeah, the nigga you oh, hey. Kang Wang and this shit. No, nigga. You was a, you was a Kang Wang <laughs> King. Kang King and this bitch guy, dude. He wanted to put that shit got around black and started Kang Wang. <laughs> you was, you was right cool. there on the I can do that shit from the time he hit the dough to the time he left that bitch. From the time he wake up, guy, dude. When I found out Kang Wang was a lion dance, I'm like, y'all tripping. But we went to like, you know what I'm saying? Dad will be home, blah, 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 blah. But like girls was there that you might not see in other places. So in the club, yeah, yeah, in the club. Yeah. Oh, but, but now, I, but, I but now but, social media, but like they're the club, there. I mean, you're following. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there. Like I, I hate when old niggas get old and then they <laughs> talk about young niggas. Cause I, had I remember going to the club, standing there just looking. And like I didn't fun. go to the club. I didn't go to the club to dance. Mm-mm. I went to the club because I knew that people was gonna be in there, like you said, to mingle with, talk with. It was gonna be some shoppers in there that needed to see me. You know what I'm saying? I needed to see them. You know what I'm saying? So we could bump into each other. It'd be a new crop in there. You know, mm-hmm. new people to see, hang out with, and first semester with, network with. It's a whole new. But semester. I never went in there saying, "Oh, I can't wait to dance tonight." Like, now fuck I up. never said dance. Hootie was, like saying, <laughs> Hootie was saying that as a joke, but I, mean, I went in there to just like you said to meet you people that that I might not have a chance. I mean, you went in the club to fight, nigga. That's all you wanted to do. Oh, this nigga was fighting every other weekend. Why you so angry? No, no, don't let him off the hook that he's. That no. nigga went in the club. Oh, I know dance. he danced. I already yeah. right, know he came wanging all over. Look, dirty the dancer. <laughs> It's okay, he lying dancing this shit. He, that's how you know Kang Wang a lion dancing. I do, I do like dance. a good lion dance. I rhythm like a motherfucker. But that's cool. And it's a good But like, uh... I ain't never lion dance in my life. I don't even know how to lion dance. So you don't know how to do swerve? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, be, I, I just know I electric slide. All kind of circles. I, 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 
I, I barely know that. I want to say four years ago, I went through like a little fake, like, hey man, show me how to do this. I got shit. a mean ass two step though. But but that's how you need it. My shit mean, two boy. Step. You know what I'm saying? I dip, a, I dip every now and then, but that's all I two got. Step. And what's crazy, bro, step. like, <laughs> that's it. I was real good at uh, stepping the name of love, but you can't, you can't, huh? you can't be a part of it no more. But stepping I ain't never seen love. you on rhythm and nothing. Oh no, I'm in rhythm on that. <laughs> in rhythm. We're going to find that. out. Nah, oh, no, we, we can't, can't play it no more. Yeah, yeah, so we're done. But, um, can't get right for Did y'all see that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did y'all see that? Uh, Halle Berry gonna uh, make a boomerang spinoff? Y'all saw that? Yeah, I did. A boomerang see that. spinoff? Uh, yeah, boomerang. No, I ain't seen no. that. Uh, I think I mentioned on the podcast that they're doing a Coming to America too. And like, I want to say Spike Lee said like that's uh restricting creativity. Like, come up with a new idea. Like, I came up with do the right thing. I came up with, you know, let's do an autobiography about Malcolm X. Let's do a war movie. Let's, you know. That's, do but that's the same thing, though. Right? How? A war movie? There's tons of war movies. Yeah, from a different aspect. It's I'm not doing, you know what I'm saying, this war movie over again. Right. And, and that's my thing with, like, I, I mean... I get what Spike Lee's saying. Like, you know, you do got to come up with creative shit. I, I, I think, like I told y'all, man, I, I think it's, it's like, shit, what do you come up with? Everybody has come up with everything. And I, and I get it. You need to be creative and come up with something that nobody has seen. Mm -hmm. And me personally, I think it's so many different. I'm going to be a director or, or a movie script writer because I was, think it's so was one of these movies right now. Hell no. Nah, you know how many sharks out there, man? I put this shit out there, had that bitch out tomorrow, nigga. Just like, uh... Yeah, nigga steal ideas, man. I mean, every uh, day, uh, uh, talk about Spike with Lee. One. He's just getting recognized in the Academy and uh, what's this shit in the Colorado canon? Uh, in Colorado? I have no fucking... The little movie festival thing. But uh, for a black classman. And he's done watch that? so no. I have I've been seeing White it. I've been wanting to watch it, but I hadn't watched it. I mean, well, the media loved it. Mm -hmm. Uh but he said, like, I didn't do did all this dope stuff. But this is the only this is the first time I've been recognized for an Oscar and all this stuff, because this movie I made. Hmm. Black Clansman. Black when Clans. he didn't do did all this other dope stuff that we consider classics, that he was like It might be a classic. I don't know. I hadn't watched it. I haven't watched it, so I can't say it is it, it, it is or not, but he's put out other great bodies of work. Yeah, plenty. So, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But it's been 25 years since Boomerang kind of touched down. Um, shit. I mean, I think it's old, cuz. Yeah, man, sometimes it's dope. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen the original, go back and see it. But Halle Berry is remaking that shit. So, it to be dope if that in that bitch. Put that in there. Get Marcus up in there. <laughs> I just see the uh, picture. Got, My you know, God. I just put her in the group. Is the old lady still living? Della, what's her name? Della. I ain't want to say Della Reese. Cause no, it ain't Della I'll Reese. be all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga's so crazy. Della <laughs> Reese. Della Reese. But, um, Terry Crews. Ain't that the, Terry Crews and D.L. Hughley. Man, did y'all see uh, D.L. Hughley uh, comments and response to uh, Terry Crews? Uh, I think I seen it a little bit, but I ain't really diving into it like that for real. Um, D.L. a brave nigga for that. Man, pretty much what happened for people who don't know, um, Terry Crews uh, said that he was sexually assaulted, uh, said that somebody came up, grabbed him by his dick, uh, grabbed him by his ass. Basically, somebody who was in a high position of power with uh, his job, things that he was doing. Um, basically, uh, Hughley told Vlad TV, um, I think it's hard, you know, for me to think that a dude with all those muscles uh, can tell an agent not to touch his ass or can't tell an agent not to touch his ass. I'm sorry. He added that I don't understand. I think now everybody is so into the notion um, that, hey, it happened to me. Um, hey, motherfucker, God gave you all those muscles. Uh, you can say no and mean it. So basically, you know, Hughley basically said that with all those muscles, with all the shit that you built, nobody should ever grab you like that. Did y'all have a chance to see that? If so, what, what y'all think? Where y'all at with it? Man, I saw it. And, uh, I don't have a muscle in sight, but it, if a nigga grab my dick, mm. I'm either beating his ass or shooting him. Well, so that that's your only. You got two options: beating him or shooting him. Yep, I feel you. I'm with you. I ain't shooting him though. You know what I'm saying? I give him a couple. You know what I'm saying? No, after I, I try to beat his ass and I'm not winning, then oh, you decide whoa. to shoot him. But you the big guy. 
No, I'm saying me personally. I'm not saying Terry Crew. I got you. Okay. I'm not trying to, you know, victim I got shame you, man. That, that, that shit yeah. weird. I can't I'm saying wait. being who I am at my same size, I'm beating that nigga ass. Even if it's Terry Crews. I, now, if Terry Crews grab my dick, I'm shooting him. I just hope whoever's uh, around them when they fight that they're recording. Because I can't wait to see Terry Crews bust his ass. Um... DL. Which I would love to see. I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? My man gonna be dancing and shit and then knocking my Because you just don't disrespect no man like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, um, if it was me, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not just gonna stand there and take it. I'm throwing hands, you know what I'm saying? I can't speak for anybody else and what they would do and why they did what they did. But me personally, I'm throwing hands. Um, but apparently this man did it for a reason. There's a there's a reason for it. Uh, one of the biggest guys in Hollywood. So it's tough for me to say I understand it because I wouldn't do it, but I do understand it. You know what I'm saying? And um, we all do things we necessarily might not want to do just for the sake of our job, but this seems a little over. I ain't got no more job. I got a new job. Yeah. New job for me. Yeah. yeah. I just, I mean, I go back to the to the point, um, or to my thoughts. I just seem like sometimes as men, I'm with y'all. Like, I, like if somebody do that, my just natural reaction will make me swing. Uh, that's just my natural reaction, but uh, I also feel like sometimes when when it's men involved, like we can't be victims. It's like, like especially when it comes to like sexual assault. Like a lot of times when when it's a when it's a man, especially when you're an adult, it's just like, oh, why didn't you defend yourself? Or why didn't you push them off? Or why didn't you say X Y Z? And I do think it's cases where, um, you know, we talk about double standards and stuff, and I'm not saying that there should be there shouldn't be any double standards in sexual assault. I think, I think but I do, I do, I do I think, think I do think that uh, in cases when it involves men, that sometimes men uh, are are just kind of put in a situation where we just supposed to take it and don't say much. Uh, you you mentioned something about double standards, and that just made me think of a question like: Are double standards changing nowadays? Uh, are there no more double stands in things of that nature? You know what I'm saying? With the sexual assault, do you think you'll see more men coming out expressing these type of feelings? I think when men, I think when men come out, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be continued. Shut up, be because quiet. that's and that's basically what Terry Crews is getting too from right. D.L. Hewlett right here, right? And and I'm 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 just saying like in general, like I don't even in the domestic violence situations sometimes like. A nigga can get his whole ass beat. Uh, you know what I mean? Just like yeah, bow wow. And and that might be a good instance. And the only reason I'm I'm not using that for me personally is because I don't, I don't know, know the full backstory of it. Yeah. Right, but I I do know that he looked better than Bruce, and they laughed at him. Right, and people laughed at him <laughs> yeah, and they, talked they about how he looked. Now again, I'm saying that to say I don't know the backstory, but I just feel like sometimes as men, it, it's just like a, a shut up and take it, mm-hmm. be quiet. Ah oh, man, that didn't really happen. Use your muscles. Oh, you couldn't stop that person from doing And if somebody's a victim, they just a victim. Exactly. Let and, everybody be victims. And even with that, like you say, you, we don't know the backstory about Bow Wow, but we do see that Bow Wow looked like he was beat up. And people went at him. They yeah, wasn't feeling they laugh, sorry. They, they, they laughed, laughed at him, at him for being, at him. being being beat Being up. a victim, basically. You know what I'm saying? And, if he and was a victim. I'm not saying he wasn't assaulted in that, but he's kind of been a punching bag for a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. And people... Gang culture is real, not like Crips and Bloods, but just like grouping in on somebody. And then, you know what I'm saying, just... It's called, oh, the, it's called the social media gang nowadays. Yeah. yeah. So everybody, oh, if this happened to somebody, because say this happened to somebody that, quote unquote, social media loves, then it would have been an outrage. If it was a female, it would have been an outrage. Yes. If it was any male, they, you know what I'm saying, they would have treated them like they treated by well, I think. But unless it was a gay male, he was yeah, uh yeah, because we don't know the the facts. But the uh, what's his name? Justin Molette, Jesse, Jesse. Everybody came to his rescue, as you should. I've seen, I've seen like a lot of people bashing. I've seen a lot of people bashing him too. So I'm still waiting for the finished product. After, I don't, maybe. yeah, as more details keep emerging, yeah. I, I've seen a lot of people um bash him too and question it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and basically, yeah, basically say like his story. I mean, for me personally, man, when story get to taking all them turns and shit, I'm I stopped caring. Wait. Yeah, I, like, I, stopped. I mean, I ain't got time. Unfortunately, 
I it's stopped sad, caring. It's sad, and once but, it comes out, you but at the same time, man, I, I, I'm not there. I don't know what the fuck happened. You hear this, you hear the, you know, these people say this, you hear that person say this. We know how society have us, and like I said last week, man, and, sometimes it's hard to understand what the fuck, what what's true and what's not, and they make you not care. And, but I, and I can't. It's, it's too you, hard man. to care about this, that, that, yeah. that, and you but don't also, know what to care I mean, about, make you not care. I want to know, like, besides, you know, the cops uh, shooting you, when can a black man be a victim? A black mm-hmm. heterosexual man be a victim? That's what I was trying to figure out earlier. Like, I, just, I was just trying to think of an instance. Like, like, a, <laughs> shit. like what we just said with the Terry Crews shit. It's shut up. Be quiet. You can't never be a victim. You should have beat him up. But if you beat him up, then... You're not the victim anymore. You're the, you're the black aggressive right. man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and, and, if you're the vi- and if you're the victim, you're weak. So I don't know. It was a lose lose situation. So, uh, but let that man be a victim if you're a victim. He gonna beat D.L. Hewlett ass, and I'm here for it. But D.L., you my nigga. I fuck with all these stand up you know <laughs> for real. Like the nigga got some good stand ups. Y'all think he pretty as a comedian? I know he's been more political lately, but have y'all did trash y'all, comedian? I, I liked him as a comedian. Love so. him? No, I don't like him anymore. I liked him. Like in the beginning when he was like on uh, Kings of Comedy, he was fourth, and it was a clear fourth. He has to. Was, they were the Kings though. Somebody had to be fourth. He's a joke. <laughs> like like <laughs> well, out of the top five, you five. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you guys. I'm not saying that he top five, but I'm just saying like what you said. I'm, I'm playing on the All Star team, but I'm the twelfth man. I don't well, know shit, I'm on well, the All Star team. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So y'all can't name one good deal. Uh, special coming home. Google it right there, right now. No, I know what you're talking about. All right, then, so don't say that. You said he can name one. <laughs> no, name one. You ain't let me forget. Let me <laughs> oh, oh, finish. My bad. No, my bad. He, my bad. Let, let me carry let my me the rest question. of this. That you would consider like a great special. I just did. That's the same. Oh, God no, I question. know what you're talking about, but I wouldn't consider it great. I would. Okay, well, that's you. <laughs> Shit, name one. I name I it. No, no, hold, no, hold on. on. Let me let finish. Let me ask you the same question some other way. Oh, the same one I just named. <laughs> My bad, cuz. I'm sorry. I ain't mean that. Okay. Well, if you think he's a great that. comedian, then I didn't then. mean to answer your question. <laughs> that is but he, real weird. I mean, I think I think he's decent, man. He, he just recently came out with another one. It's it's kind of The Netflix special was not good. It's more grown. I, I, I think he's he's grown up more. He's more into those politics. So those are more the things he tailored his comedy towards. And not everybody gets it or not everybody wants to hear that kind of comedy. You know what I'm saying? So, I like You it. know what? As you say that, I think I kind of agree. Um, Dave Chappelle special. It wasn't a slap knee, you know. Yeah, but it was made But it was shit. interesting. Now, that nigga used that term then it wasn't a slap knee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 try to have an adult conversation. A, a knee slapper. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but, Keep but, that same vibe now. But, uh... I get what you're saying on that point, but it didn't hit me the same way Dave Chappelle. Like, I was like, damn, that shit funny. But I'm you know, not, but I ain't have to be like, ha, ha, ha. I agree, but Different I'm not going to take comedian. that away yeah. away yeah. from him because he's not Chappelle. Not many niggas on Chappelle, yeah. man. You know, he's up very, there. He's like I don't, way up Chappelle, there. like, I, I haven't seen anybody like Chappelle. Nobody. Chris Rock. He's like, not like Chappelle. Time. To me, he's like, he's okay. He's cool, no, but he's not Chris Chappelle. Chris Rock up there with Dave Chappelle to me. He too loud. They wanted to. I like him. But he's just more. It's uh, Dave Ramos. Chappelle, Chris Rock, and then everybody else. You know who I fuck with, man? I was watching shit last night. Jamie Foxx. That nigga stand up's pretty good. And they, they old as shit, but they pretty good. Man. I have to go back to give up. I remember. Yeah. That nigga had like a, I forgot what he had. Yeah, he he had that. some dope ones. I can't think of the name of them, but I, I I remember a few mm-hmm. uh, dope ones that Jamie had. See, you don't even have Jamie. You don't even know about the Jamie comedy shows, and you don't even want to put DL up there. You don't even know some of the great ones. What's up? You what's putting the... DL over Jamie? I ain't say that. So what um, are you saying? I name a comedian say... that I would think is better than DL that you that you can argue that I think you would say is better. Yeah, the people you name, the Chris Rocks, the Dave Chappelle's. Are any of them better? Is DL better than any of them? No. So what are you saying? You're saying he's the worst. You Bernie made Mac. When, when you first came out, you was like, Steve Dion Harvey. Hewlett was on the Kings of Comedy and he was four. You made it sound like he was Dion Cole. Yeah, he better than Dion Cole. I don't think so. Yeah. You know Dion Cole? Yeah. Who you, he's, 
Cole? You know Dion Cole? Wait, wait, wait. He said Dion Cole, Cole is better, better than Dion. Cole Hoku. No. Cole Hoku. Cole Hoku a different kind of folk. He yeah. a different kind of animal, man. He a different kind of breed, too. Yeah, he a different They're not even in the same, like, breed, but... Core Holcomb, They're like street yeah. rapper, pop rapper, right? <laughs> you can't compare them to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart not that funny to me. I'm sorry, he's not. He's extra. He, is he funnier he, than D.R. Hugo? No. In movies, he, he's his more reach, of a character. His reach, yeah, he's his more of a reach, character. Man. But as far as funny, who's stand up? I'm going to look at. I'm looking at D.L. stand up over Kevin Hart. Mm, I don't think who I want to listen agree to. with you. Who, but that, okay, so you watching Kevin Hart? <laughs> Yes, by far. You You're talking about the overall body of work. Kevin Hart got some his early stand ups. It's way better. Yes, I'm taking D. I'm a big D. Mm, no, I think you just don't want coming it. home days. I'm gonna be. I, no, I'm just telling you what I like more. And then D. I don't. Laugh I don't at my fall, pain. Just, I'm not laugh mad. At my pain I, was no good for you. I'm and not then, mad. And then the like thing I like, like about D. L. That that I like most about him was he was like super. Uh, Spontaneous, like he'll jank the whole room, and you know when when somebody jank in a room, like you can't have those just written and ready, like you really janking somebody on the spot, and that used to be his whole I think set. About them, them comic view days, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. it's not a nigga I want in here right now because he gonna goddamn jank the shit out of you. But I'm talking about as far as a, a special hour and a half. I was part of it. <laughs> shit, it was cool, but you don't want to. Mm, no, especially when you talk about Kevin Hart. When his early days, no, that's not even compared for you. <laughs> you I think for it. most people, we'll see. I'm not, we'll put up a question. On I don't Tuesday. care about what they think, man. That's good for them. And there's nothing I wrong with that. Do not care, man. You ask me what I like. I mean, shit. I don't give a fuck. You got to ask you what you like. And the they poll won't said about else. this one better. <laughs> fuck that poll and fuck them. But, this is my answer. But I want the um, <laughs> you know, with our weekly topic, man, we. We we sat here and, and looked at it and we talked about communication. We talk about communication in relationships, communication as a man with your kids, uh, communication just in general. Um I want to know with you all, are you are you all great communicators? Uh whether it be with your kids, your friends, your spouse, everyone, or uh like is it, where do you rank the importance of communication? Importance is top notch at the top of the list. But I have a question. Can you be both? What? Good and bad. Yeah, hell like yeah. I'm, I'm a good. On this one. I'm a good communicator, but I'm bad at communicating. Meaning, when I talk to you, I'm gonna give you some 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 insightful shit. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna get deep with you, but it's hard to get me to talk to you. you know what I'm saying that that's the thing well, that with me is just I sometimes I hold a lot of shit back. I'm not sure a lot about a lot of shit. A lot of shit I don't care. But if I have to sit there and think to you, think about it, and talk to you about it, be like damn. I'm a little different. So, uh, I thought we were in the same way and we kind of went different directions. So, Stop trying to think like me. I didn't say it. I always <laughs> never want to say that. I think like ever, ever, ever. Thank you. But, um, so, it it's different. So, if I'm talking to y'all, hey, I'm being direct. I'm not holding no punches. This is how I feel. This is what we need to do. We need to do the podcast on Friday, 7 p.m. Cool. Can you do this? Can you do this? Cool. But sometimes, you know, with your spouse or whatever, maybe it's a, like a need to know basis. Like, I don't know, and maybe I don't think this is important to you, so maybe I haven't communicated to this. You know, because I don't even know, and I don't think it's important to you. So that's when I'm... Can you communicate told, that if you don't know, though? They want you to. <laughs> I can't know that. <laughs> I just can't know that. I, know, I, I think for me... I think I'm a great communicator Simply because I like to communicate yeah, I like, to, like talk. to talk Yeah, yeah. I like to talk For real and because... I, I think that communication shit That shit kind of helped Like that major in communication shit like But that. it don't even be that I just feel like To under Like how like can He's you... just a natural talker Yeah but like To understand somebody Like you have to talk to them You know what I'm saying Hear what they saying And one of my One of the things that I hate the most Is when people are like Like just cause you don't agree with them They feel like you don't understand Oh you don't understand Yeah I understand I just don't agree with what you're saying Yeah now, having said that I'm a great communicator, I can be a great communicator, but if I don't speak Spanish, then we're not, we're not understanding each other. Mm -hmm. Meaning sometimes, like, if it's from a woman's standpoint, I can say I'm a great communicator, I can understand, but if she's looking from her perspective, I'm looking at it from mine, I may say like he's a horrible communicator. It might not matter. Right. Terribly. 
Because, some, but, and, and I noticed because that sometimes they, they communication, women, their communication is foreign as language. That shit is brain reading. <laughs> That's their communication. Read my mind. That's a, you should have known movie. what women want, what men want, <laughs> what men want. That's how they want. But you, you should have known. But I ain't gonna say too much. But that, <laughs> that you should have known is a tough thing, bro. Uh, yeah. You should have known I was hungry. No, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. How? Because I asked you and you said <laughs> no. it wasn't. So I was supposed to know that no, you was you hungry. Got to be a you mind, to bring me see something anyway. They communicate you better be a mind reader. And you're supposed to know what but they want to eat. But, that but, day. But, but what's so crazy is that when they talking to a group of them, they'll tell our ass up for how we communicate. Like, mm-hmm. he just thought that. You I know? do know I'm a bad communicator. I will admit it. You know what I'm saying? And I do feel like I do need to commu- uh, communicate a lot more. Uh, and I get it. But sometimes that shit just be hard. I, see, no. But, but see, with, uh, me, with me with communicating, I'm going to break shit down. But I will sim- tell you what you asked me. I'm, I'm going to break that shit you. down to the simplest form. Like, like when people like want to start fights and shit, like, that's, at the end of the day, I don't sarcasm. care what you say. I'm, I'm not trying to, not, not even sarcasm. No, I know that. But yeah. they will see it as sarcasm. No, like, no, it started from somewhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, you, you throw some fucking rocks at a wall's nest, the wall sting you, and it's, why did the wall sting me? Cause you threw the rock, like it starts. Why from did somewhere. you get mad that I threw a rock at your nest? Yeah, like it, it got it got to that start. Was from, it got to it got to start from somewhere. Good That's how I look at it. <laughs> but being uh clear, sometimes I do see where like, hey, I know you are how you are, so maybe I should have communicated a different way. I know I should do that shit all the time, but yeah. it's just but sometimes second you get nature tired for me. Of doing that. But it's not even that. It's second nature for me not to. I'm no, I it's I it's first nature for everybody not to. Well, every not man. everybody because some some people's first nature is to communicate it. Some people they will tell you this. Like I will give them like that, she, she tells me all of that shit. I'm no, no, them, no. I, but I forget. I was saying even. men versus women. That that's, that's me, what I was saying. But that that's me who mm-hmm. like I've learned. I've learned how to, uh, I guess, reconfigure what I'm going to say for them. Yeah. You, have you see to. what I'm saying? Be better. Yeah. You you better. better. But when you say, like, your first line is, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah. I only do that because I, I know that, like, okay, it won't be received right if I say it this way. So let me say it like that. And, but but even even knowing that and even saying that, you still you still can fuck it up. You can give a whole disclaimer. Hey, look. When I say I this, to make you mad. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not saying this from a place of anger. And then you say it. Were you angry when you said that? That was a mean ass statement. God damn it! <laughs> I just said I wasn't angry. I just simply was at. You know what I mean? But hey, that's how it it's go, just man. tough, man. <laughs> like we. I mean, we don't mean no harm, and we get that y'all are sensitive beings, and, and we try to get to that point where we sensitive with you. But no, we just no, that don't shit say hard. they hey. Don't come get them. I mean, that's it. I, I, I don't. I get it. Fuck it. Men are sensitive as well, but women. I'm sorry, y'all are sensitive. Women are sensitive. But that's that double standard because men can't be sensitive. You can't have opinion. You can't have a preference. You're right. And with that being said, y'all can't say y'all not sensitive if we can't be sensitive because y'all are sensitive. no like <laughs> women. <laughs> like, and I think yeah. I said this. Women hurt men feelings way more than I think that men hurt women feelings. I don't think so. I just because it could be anything and it'll hurt their feelings. Well, like they probably get a little deeper. I think we just group. react different. Like, damn, that kind of stung a little bit. You be hanging your feet. You call my mama a fat bitch. Damn. No, I mean, I'm, I'm just giving an example. I'm just giving an example. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. She's never said that. Like, this wasn't bad, but she did. But, uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Something but like it that. It is some women that will say some yeah, shit. Yeah, like then, though. like, nigga probably just gotta take it. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But, my mama like that. That's how my you mama put them hands on you. That'll be my response. Right, I'm gonna tell my mama. She put them okay. hands. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> I'm gonna tell. Okay. And then I'm gonna wait. Goddamn, till we in, in at her house. I didn't say I didn't done that a couple times. <laughs> I promise I didn't done. Tell her what you said. What Grace said would. I ain't gonna tell her. Tell her. I'm gonna tell her. Yeah, you know, Grace said. Uh, uh, Grace <laughs> said. What you think about this, mama? <laughs> Yeah, so the moral of the story is you can be a great communicator, but you're not so great sometimes when you speak in a different language, sounds like, because sometimes you can communicate that shit and they just, you know, they missed them up. All right, man, y'all want to get to some beef? Who beefing? Uh, I, I'll, read beef? It. I'll read it to y'all and y'all tell me who beefing. God damn. Uh, it, it, it's Breezy and Mr. Set. God damn. <laughs> Chris Brown said, you little boy, better worry about what you got going and focus on you. Uh, 
All this cap on IG is what's lame. The I'll, thing I wanted to talk about what I said. The but thing I'll, I wanted to talk about was more so was he said something at the end that kind of rubbed me wrong. Not it didn't rub me wrong. It's just not some, a term or a phrase that I would use. And I just want to know how do yeah. y'all feel about this men telling other men, or just anybody in general, to suck my dick. Like I think that's that's out of our era. And then I'm gonna give him a pass, but in our era. Like, I think Charlemagne or somebody that said, like, if you tell a man that, then you better be ready to fight him. When when I think of that, what pops in my head is minister society. Tat, 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 what the fuck, man? He done killed my man because he done told him suck his dick. I'm going to pay you when I pay you. So you better suck. My... Come on, bro. And that's basically what happened. I, me personally, I don't... I'm at the age, I'm not going to let that determine how I respond to you. You tell me that now, then fuck it. You tried. I wouldn't. Me personally, I'm never using that towards another man. And and, and I don't think I ever have. That's I never. I know I yeah. never have. Yeah, I don't, I, I've, like, never, I've never said that. I've never so, wanted I, to say that. I've like, never. Like, I'm, that's just weird. Me, me like, personally, you ain't, I've you never ain't got said no better go to. Too. You ain't got no better go to lines than that. That should be weird to me. Sight like, my dick. Like even what angry, fuck? even angry. I've never said that to a woman. Angry. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm not saying. Come on. Like man. that's got to be the worst line that you can find in the book, man. You can say all kind of shit, but Stop I think that. that's just like just that's not creative. creative. Like you said, you could have said, <laughs> you could have talked about your clothes you got on, the shoes. Like you ain't got no money to go to the club. Like you could have said a thousand different other things. That's crazy. Suck my dick just never came in my vocabulary. How do y'all? You, and you said that's just not creative, and that made me think of a lot of people like. Back in the day, how we always joke, nigga be like your mama. And nigga be like, that's not creative. To me, your mama is pretty good. Damn, I love it. Now that shit, I that's, used it often. They was, now, that was the fight. That I was, was never, the fighting word. I, still I was it. never your mama guy. I still use I, it. I, I, I wasn't, I I wasn't that mistake, either. But, I, but what I was saying, like back then, that was the shit that popped it off. Yeah. Ooh, your that mama. nigga said your mama. Said, well, that shit, mama. that had so many fights get started. My mama Even if you knew going. this nigga never met your mama, that was just, that was kind of like a respect thing to me. Yeah, niggas got yeah, niggas, niggas like, got it popping off that uh, your mama. I, I let them your mama slide. I still be messing with Grace's mama. You know her, and that's fucked up. I like her mama. Her mama dope as <laughs> fuck. But it's just like, like it's, train, a new, so it's a new, no, it's a New Orleans thing. Like everything was your mama. It just it, that shit just was. Uh, yeah, mama. It was funny to her. You know what I'm awesome. saying? So yeah. we ain't take no offense to it. And plus, my mama used to talk to my step. Your mama in Mobile could could. But my mom, so she would tell my step pop, nigga, your mom. <laughs> your mom ain't got no hair. Like, damn, my son. You know, if your mama talking like I just, that. I just feel like the beef now, man. That shit is just not authentic. That shit trash. That shit come out of thin air and they do that shit to sell some records and then next thing you know, an album or something dropping. And I don't. So when they shit. dropping? I'm when not they talking dropping? about that. Yo, 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 put up an estimated date when they dropping. Next week. They they beat, this, <laughs> they beat this week. That shit coming next week. Gotta be. That's Has how Offset album came out yet? No. It, we've been waiting since December. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely coming. December. Uh, Chris Brown bet not coming on album. He just put out six of them, all in one. That long ass forty song album. Still ain't listened to a song. Not me neither. I just can't make. I listen myself... about about eight maybe. I, me personally, I've never listened to a Chris Brown album. Though. Me but, either though. So, but you know yeah, what? The seventy five height, the seventy five song home uh, songs. It got me. You uh, you look like you listen to a Chris Brown album. Why he uh with his Valentine's Day gift uh-huh, with his hearts? <laughs> Do say it, hey there. <laughs> be mine. <Okay. laughs> Forever oh. my love, goddamn. Uh, why y'all the saying talk? these <laughs> mediocre jokes? <laughs> the um, he mad. It's okay, cuz the um candy got the candies, the little hard nasty ass candy. Say be mine. Kept and, the bismals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They went out of business. Good. Good. They should have. <laughs> so like, um, Good. Yeah. moving on into uh, other news. <laughs> oh, that shit. Like, that shit. Thank you. Who, who gives a fuck about time? Thank you, dude. Candy God. That shit lasted that candy. 25 years too long. <laughs> <laughs> fuck y'all talking about. But look, being that the Super Bowl just happened, we was talking about music. We was talking about all the news that, that happened early in music. We saw that a lot of different artists uh, said that they was boycotting the Super Bowl. We saw a lot of different platforms talk about artists uh, boy, kind of Super Bowl, uh, basically, kind of standing with Cap. Um, how do y'all feel, man? We saw that you know, like the Super Bowl was in Atlanta. Uh, how do y'all feel uh, about 
some of these artists that said that they was boycotting that ended up performing. Uh, we saw them at different events. We saw a lot of different things popping around Atlanta. Uh, do y'all feel like that it was a, a fake boycott or that the boycott was not warranted? Where, where are y'all thoughts with it? Like, I, I'm just trying to figure out how y'all feel about it. Well, numbers say it was uh, one of the worst uh, viewed Super Bowls in the last, I want to say at least 10 years. But uh, this is my only thing about it. If you had a pro- now, I had a problem with uh, Travis Scott doing that. But as an artist, if you spoke out about it and you was real outspoken, I wasn't real outspoken. If you was real outspoken about it, then you shouldn't have been in Atlanta doing shows. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Like, don't say because Travis performed like shows, on Sunday. Shows, period. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm asking. Like, yeah, shows, right, period. Okay. Right. Shows, period. So, just because Travis performed on Sunday and you performed on Friday, but it's all bringing into it, I had a problem with that. But if you wasn't like outspoken and saying he shouldn't do it, yeah, go get your bag because it's contributing to Atlanta as a city. It's a predominantly black city, one of our better black cities. Mm-hmm. I have no problem with that. Was you going to get your money? But if you was a proponent, like. If Jay Z did a show on Friday or Saturday, I have a problem with that. But but to me, where where is he doing that show? Like if Jay Z performing at Magic City, or he's performing as like 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 you said, Atlanta is a predominantly black city. It's run by a lot of blacks, a lot of black businesses, a lot of black restaurants. It's a lot of black venues that 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 are owned by all black people. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, to me, like if you wasn't doing something that was an NFL sponsored event or like a one of these uh, uh, big corporation events that were there specifically for the Super Bowl, I don't have no problem with what it is that you did. I do. Now, I, I, I do because, hey, Jay-Z, if you have a problem with the NFL and Super Bowl, don't, don't perform in Atlanta during Super Bowl. Why? You're, you're Jay-Z. Perform next week. Yeah, but... Perform in and, Atlanta. And that's fine, but... Because this, I feel like the Super Bowl is an idea. It's an experience. But it's a whole weekend. It's the whole city. But if, you're adding to that's it. The but Super if I'm Bowl, performing man. at Magic City, that money's not going to the NFL. That's going to a black business owner's pocket. But and if making, I leave Magic City and go eat at the wing place, you know what I'm saying? That's going to that business but it's owner. Promoting what they the, do with, it's promoting the NFL. No, people, it's not. It's pro- it, is. it is. Because people to, are immediately ready to go to Miami next year for the Super Bowl. But it's the Super Bowl experience and also, all of that shit. Also, if we're purely talking about Jay Z, Jay Z is not performing at no black owned establishment. Yeah, in but Atlanta. We're, we're using him as an example. Okay, Let's okay, not okay. Get okay. Caught in the weeds with that. <laughs> but what? I, what? Well, I guess what I'm saying is like, to me, if you say I'm standing with Cap, no problem. I have no problem with that. You know what I mean? But if you say I'm gonna boycott the. Uh, uh, the Super Bowl in Atlanta. I'm not going to Magic City, which is a black-owned strip club. I'm not going to Blue Flame. I'm not going to these places that are owned by blacks because I'm standing with Cap and I don't want to support the Super Bowl. You also not supporting the black business. They no. probably stand with Cap no. too. In my story, you are because you can do that next weekend. I'm not saying that you can't, but but because you're specifically going there, not because it's Atlanta. If you stand with Cap, Super Bowl, do not watch there. or come to the Super Bowl activities. Hey, you don't have to watch to go to Magic City. I might not have watched the, the Super Bowl, but I, I went to Magic City. Part. Do not watch or come to Atlanta that weekend. Right. But if I don't come, if if I'm not buying a ticket to the NFL event, I'm not supporting the NFL. If I'm not turning my TV on to watch that Super Bowl, for those people who are doing that, I'm not supporting the NFL. We're going, if, if I, we're, to the we're going in circles. We're going in circles. You're saying it's not. We're saying it's, it is in... I mean, it's not gonna change. It's not. Yeah. I, I just think that I, I feel what y'all saying, but I just feel like and to be fair, and I would have been at the motherfucking Super Bowl. But I do, I, I do think that if you spoke out, your ass should have been in New York somewhere this weekend. And I just think, man, like I, I just like in, in in some of the things that we saw, we saw like Robert Kraft, right? Mm-hmm. People were saying like, oh, he was the, you know, true or not true, they said that he was the reason why Cap, you know, uh, wasn't in the league. He was one of the big proponents of, uh, away from. I didn't. Hear, I heard that, but I didn't think that, uh, again, that way it would. That's, that's it why would. I said true or not true. Mm-hmm. If it's true, fine. Let's just say it was true for the sake of conversation. Mm-hmm. Let's just say that was true. Mm-hmm. Do we ride him off for that? Uh, if you're boycotting, if you're boycotting him, yeah. 
Great. So you ride him off and he's done with you. For if you're boycotting him. I'm asking. He, I'm, if you, yeah, if you're so boycotting him. For that, for that. So to me, hang on, hang on. To me, that that's a lot of question. And um, I I have a different aspect of it because I saw Rick Ross getting a flack for taking a picture with Robert Kraft. And in my opinion, because they were like, oh, your Florida, uh, your Miami license is revoked. The Miami Dolphins uh, owner did shit for Meek Mill. No other owner did shit for Meek Mill. Why wouldn't New England? New England. No, no other owner but Robert Kraft. You said no other owner other than the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. No. Okay. okay. What I meant to say was Miami Dolphins owner, if I said it wrong, okay. Miami Dolphins owner did shit for Meek Mill. No other owner but Robert Kraft did anything for me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, as Rick Ross, why wouldn't you fuck with Robert Kraft? But Rick Ross been fucking with him too, though. This isn't the first time that Rick Ross has. So, why wouldn't he continue? You know I, what I'm saying? I don't, and I don't have a problem with and him. Maybe that's, that's, you know, and maybe that's why. And that's, my, and that's my thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's been I think we got to get to a point where we got to stop riding people off for one difference of opinion. And the only reason I say that is because, like you were saying, Robert Kraft is with Jay-Z and Meek Mill. He's, he's one of the big proponents of starting a criminal justice reform organization. He's big in that. Mm -hmm. Criminal justice reform. How many millions of people does that help? And that's yeah. the show he was at, too. That Meek, but, that was a right, Meek Mill but, show. But did. how many millions of people does that help? Totally. He basically said that he decided that he wanted to work with uh, Michael and Meek. Uh, he wanted to do whatever he could to try to change the system. He said that it's good for America. You know what I'm saying? He felt that... Um, it was a chance to to shed exposure on a system that's not doing people right. But we gonna we gonna we say that oh man he he got mad he had an opinion. I'm not saying that his opinion is right or wrong. I, I'm not 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 saying that. But where where we come where we can't have a an opinion of stuff. He felt like let's just say we don't know that this is true, right? We just saying hypothetically that Kraft said that. Um, you know, I want you to stand for the national anthem because I believe that you should stand for this country. Let's just say he did say that. Mm -hmm. We ride him off for that that one instance, and then there's another instance where we already know dis disproportionately black and brown people are going to jail, and he's standing with prison reform that can help millions of people. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just ride him off because of that? I'm no, not. I don't think I haven't. Well, but, but we just said earlier that, like, you know, with with the fact that. If that is true, that Robert Kraft was mm -hmm. part of the reason why Captain League, he's wrote off. They, I, I don't and, know. and I've saw different platforms that say, oh, you can't take a picture with him. You can't do that. This nigga is trying to, I'm not saying. They're stupid. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> and, and, and I, only, I only say that because the bigger picture, too, of that is I saw where, like, you know, they was talking about Biden running. The next thing they want to say, oh, well, he was he was part of the criminal justice system. They said three strikes and you're out and mandatory sure. minimums. So you were going to ride him off to leave this motherfucking office? Like, man, we got to stop killing people for their opinions, man. Mm -hmm. Like, people can have difference of opinion. Nobody's perfect. And you're not going to agree with somebody 100% of the time. But we need to get to a point where like, hey, man, I don't agree with everything that you say, but I do like where you're going with this, 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 and this. Although I don't agree with this, we can work together here. We got to, we, that's what politics used to be. You used to be able to reach against across the sides, see what we compromise at, and work. Like uh, somebody said, like when George Bush was in office, you could say, I don't like him. I don't like his tax, you know what I'm saying, his politics. But it wasn't a... Uh, end all be all when you brought him up. I think Trump introduced that or maybe Barack uh, that introduced that, oh, if you like this person, I can't talk to you. No, that's not where it started. It started um, It started against Barack. It started right, when... Right, right, right. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no. When, when you said it started, it started because um, Republicans used to secretly meet with Obama. They used to sneak in to meet and have breakfast. Uh, what's my man? They used to talk about crying all the time. Uh... Okay. You know, the man who did what Nancy Pelosi did. Dang, damn it. The orange uh, guy. He was... Uh, yeah. His skin was kind of... He used to sneak and meet and have yeah. breakfast. They used to smoke cigarettes and sit there and talk about politics. And then it got out that he was working with them. You know what I'm saying? The Tea Party. That 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 right super right-wing shit got out. And they yeah. said that, oh, man, yeah, he was even guy. talking to him. And that's where it started. It started right there where... And, and don't get me wrong, it had been transitioned in there, but that's where it became a point of like, hey, man, if if you don't, if I don't agree with everything that you say, then I can't agree with nothing. 
And I think that if we start doing that, we're going to go to a bad place. Because, uh, well, I mean, getting off politics for a second, uh, it was a guy that did an interview. He He's like a known millionaire that uh, kind of met Meek Mills. I don't want to get back to it. It wasn't Robert Crown. But... Uh, Let's stay there. But he was a known, like, billionaire and going to Philadelphia games, his run that... He built a relationship with uh, Meek Mill. The Philadelphia owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Sixers yeah, owner. The, the Sixers. The Sixers. He's not a big sports fan, but he thought it was just a good investment. Yeah. So, yeah, him. Right. So, but you he's, know part of that, he's part of that organization. Yeah. So, so come to the games. He kind of got cool with him. Like and then he was like, hey, come to Bahamas with me or somewhere. It ain't Bahamas, but he was just like, come here with me. Like, no, I can't because I'm on probation. I'm like, what you mean? You're not criminal. Yeah. He was like, something I did 10 years Popping ago. Popping and Willie. <laughs> Popping and Willie. And that's what... And then he was like, nah, that can't be true. And then he thought that nigga was bullshitting. Right. And then he went he and asked that's... around. He said that's when he found out it was two different worlds. Yeah, right. he was like, yes. And that's what I'm saying. And that's why I say for not just us at this table, but for people who write craft off, craft was instrumental in bringing some of right. those those big owners and these big billionaires and millionaires to the table to say like, hey man, mm. these people, fuck. It's, it's a lot of CEOs who are behind some of this prison reform stuff who are saying like, this ain't right. Like we gotta do something different, and and I just think that like you know we you know we especially with the Twitter world and the Instagram and shit, you see a caption and it's instantly he dead. Write him off because of because of how he think. People and people stupid. can think a little sick of people. That's why I just stop reading what people say. Stop. That's why it's hard for me to talk to people, man. Because people just I mean, outrageous, but, man. But sometimes I mean, like old guy, and then like I respect them because it was like, well, why you didn't think it was wrong before? Because it was like. I was yeah, never nobody. personally yeah, connected nobody. with somebody. Like, I might have saw it, but it wasn't a... Like, this was somebody I know and come, that's and like, a good person. And coming from where they come from, he probably never really even saw it. That's, right. Because he was like, I never dreamed anybody would go to jail for Papa and Willie. where he came from, but, that's not possible. And that's great. Yeah. Like, think it's about not. this big billionaire sitting here with this man, and I'm trying to really understand his world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, he ain't he, really trying. And you can tell he really trying. Cause Maybe, he, they ain't everything. Yeah, like if you want to ride him off or not, he's he's sitting there making moves. They put up fifty million dollars to go towards uh, prison reform. You can tell when it's fake. Too. Yeah, you we can see it. Man. Yeah, because he was like uh, the judge that was in me case. He was like, I wish he would try to sue me. Like I got big dollars. I wish he would try to sue me because he for, know he can fight. He can for. fight it. Uh, defamation and stuff like that. Because yeah. he talked real bad about her. She was like, shouldn't be on the case, unfit, like, but he can say that because, like, she sues a lot of people. Yeah. So, but she's not going to sue him. And I, and I mean, I, I, again, I just think it's dope. You know, I just think that the prison reform stuff, you know, helps a lot of people. Um, and, 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 and just even speaking of, of prison reform, I wanted to give a, a, a shout out uh, to another person, uh, Ethan uh, Mueller. Ethan Mueller. Yeah, he's the CEO of NSENA uh, Corporations. Basically, what it is, it's a business, a tech business out of Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, and what he's doing, he just recently, uh, in conjunction with the, the Colorado Corrections, launched a, a second chance program. And what this program is, it's designed to help long-term inmates who got convicted at 16, 17, 18, 19 of... Oh, yeah. Offenses for 26 years and 20. Now these are hardened criminals. They got convicted for uh, serious crimes where they hurt someone. They they victimized okay. somebody. So they they're there for 25 years, 30 years. But they committed it at an early age. And so what this program is, it's a rehabilitation program. They're using stuff like, uh, and, and, the, and the objective is to get these people acclimated to maybe reintegrate into society. Think about it. You go to jail at 17. You ain't never wrote a check. You ain't never used a debit card. You ain't paid no bills. You don't know what technology look like out there because you've been stuck behind these walls. Mm -hmm. So his program uses like virtual reality to try to like get them acclimated to just doing stuff like laundry, how to use cards, how to how to do self checkouts. They had them in there doing self checkouts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and dude was like, man, this ain't what a grocery store look like. When exactly. I and that was what I was about to say. Like, you know a lot of them niggas be so out of touch with shit. They like a and, cell phone gonna look so right. And, 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 crazy and that's that's what it's like designed to do. Now it's a three year program. If you complete that three year program, you it goes to the governor. The governor can decide if you get your sentence reduced. 
based upon you complete your completion of that program and how you doing it. Because what they say is recidivism rate is about three years where people go back. But along hardened criminal criminals, people who've committed like serious crimes like uh, murder, or assault, and stuff, mm-hmm. it's actually lower amongst them than you know even petty crimes. So um, I thought that was a dope program. Um, because we do say a lot of times, you know, you put them in these uh, places, you treat them like animals and just let them sit there and then you re- release them into society without re- re- uh, integrating them into society. So I thought it was a little dope program. Uh, shouts out to Colorado for implementing it. And Shout for out him to Mr. For, Mueller. Yeah, for trying to, you know, make that work. Y'all saw the new record, uh, record set in 1.7 tons of meth worth $1.29 billion at the Los Angeles port today. No, I didn't see it. It came through a wall? Brand new, no. Yeah. Under a wall? Over a wall? Port. Caught it at the Round port. Round a wall. Port. Caught it where they were supposed to catch it. Port. Is the, is the wall <laughs> going to block that? No. no. You, he going to tell us it will. He going to be happy. He going to brag about it. See, we're working towards the wall, so they're working Remind harder to Remind me to, to bring up the El Paso thing he said. I thought this shit was funny. It's not. Bring, bring it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> remind <laughs> me to bring up something <laughs> right now. <laughs> but no, but no, you know, like in a speech, he was like, El, pa- El Paso was one of the... Uh, Worst cities ever with crime. And it was like... Not. That's a lie. It was like, no, that's a lie. And then, like, we we was one of the safest and started going down before you even built the wall. Mm-hmm. But, like, like, it was just, did. like, the lies he goes to. And we went to we went to El Paso in college. Oh yeah, you yeah. I played Mexico, you can see Utah, Mexico, right? Yeah, that's that's, that shit looks, that Mexico. shit looks so peaceful. Yeah, with, it was cool yeah. over there. We saw Mexico. I mean, from from also Utah. from I guess where yeah, y'all was at. You can see Mexico. Yeah, like you literally look. Boom! It says Mexico. Juarez, Mexico. Big, big sign right there that said "Big Fence" and everything. It's been a gate right there. Yeah. But I mean, I, I saw that little chart that you're talking about. And what they do is like if you look at it from like '92 or something was when it was super high spike, and it's been progressively going down since. And I think it was a little span in 2004 where it kind of spiked up and then came down and then it went up a little bit. Like in 2013, like just a little bit, but nowhere near, like not even close to where it was at its peak. And yeah. so what they do is they take those two years and say, it's on the rise, it's going. But like the real reality of it is that's not true. We was in, in, in do you remember a big gate or big wall, like big wall or gate? No, but it was one. It was a little gate of wall. I remember seeing I remember it. like a little gate, like a little fence. It was like a little fence with a little barbed wire or something over the top. It wasn't no, no. No, something that, that you could climb yeah, something, over. Yeah, you could now, probably you weren't climbing over there. I mean, yeah, they you could hit. climb over, but you gonna his, his razors yeah. at the top of that thing. Yeah, yeah. So good luck, but yeah, you could you could definitely get up there. So and and it, it was crazy that you said it because um, I mean, since we there with Trump, uh, I saw that uh, New Mexico governor. She basically pulled her National Guard troops uh, away from the border, basically rebu- uh, rebuking uh, he, of Trump. Didn't he just send some more last week? How many did yeah, he send but she, week? but you know, some of those are National Guard. Yeah, and they, you know they what I'm saying. And she said, "I'm not sending my National Guard there to, for a problem that's not a problem." And so she pulled them back. Um, good, good so, for her. good job. Yeah, so shouts out to her because uh, uh, her name is uh, Governor Michelle Luan. Grisman, I'm sorry, she's a Democrat. Uh, she basically assumed office at the midterm, so she's just recently in the office, and she pulled her her troops back from the National Guard, saying she's not, you know, keeping them on the border. So, only thing I saw about Trump, y'all, did y'all watch the first? Did y'all watch the State of the Union? Yeah, I, I watch it. I ain't, I ain't watch it. The only thing I saw about Trump this week is he lazy. He don't get up before <laughs> noon, and once he get up, he eating McDonald's and making phone calls and watching TV. And Sounds tweeting. about right. Until noon, that, he only works like forty percent of the time that he should be like working. He worked less than these people he's trying to take our welfare. That's crazy. They say sixty percent of his time is just free time. Yeah, administrative time, as he would call it. Administrative time. Administrative, time. which which they say is probably like tweet. It it is. It's tweeting and it's making phone calls and just doing bullshit. Talking to Kim Jong and shit. <laughs> and nah, and uh, the Russia guy, like both of them. Mm-hmm. That's his home. Well, that is what it is. He's talking to foreign leaders during that time of the morning, and they were highly upset about it because they feel like somebody in there is just leaking this information. But I feel like they're only leaking it because it's a reason. They're trying like, to show hey, us man, how somebody fucking, needs to know about this. How much work he does not do. Yeah. First meeting isn't until damn near noon, and that's maybe his intelligent briefing that he doesn't listen to or read. Whereas when they are there, they I forgot. It was a couple of years ago when they I mean, started taking track of that. But most presidents are up at 
five thirty, six o'clock in the morning. I mean, think about it. Like, besides repealing um, Obamacare in two years, like, I still don't know if that's gonna work. He's did tariffs. No, I'm talking about what he's done in two years. Mm -hmm. He's introduced a lot of tariffs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Muslim ban. Uh, DACA. He's trying to get rid of that. What has this man really done productive? Mm. He had a good economy for a while, so they say. I don't know. But then they went but into the shambles. But they also say, like, that be, like, if the economy is booming right now, it's from laws that was put in place a couple years, years ago. ago. Yeah, but he he gets or takes credit for it, should I say. Whether he gets a, it or not, yeah, I don't know. Um, But if I had to name, you told me to name something good. I can't think of anything outside of that, though. So, and I don't know if I could give him credit for that. So we'll see his real effect in the next three, four, five years. Hopefully one or two. I mean, yeah. but Hopefully not at all, based on what he's doing. Hopefully we never see the effects of it. But, you know. I don't, yeah. personally, I don't think he gets impeached. Hopefully he no, gets No, I think he, it's, he's too far in it. I think he, he I think he as gets soon as he's out the office, he goes to jail. But hopefully he's one of those one-term presidents. That's all I can hope yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. You be one of those. How many is it? One, two? You be one of the one or two one term presidents. That would be extra dope. Uh, and we'll see. I, I I really feel like, you know, things are closing in. Uh I think, you know, some of the supporters that were uh once supporting him are no longer supporting him, but uh, I mean they vote. So we'll see, you know, what happens. So. Get out and vote, man. Get out and vote. If you say it don't matter, you're a fool. And um I mean, speaking of voting, we saw that the HR one bill um that is finally gonna come up for a vote. Um, and things like that is, uh, it's a democratic bill. Now that the Democrats are, uh, are back running uh, things on that side, mm -hmm. um, they're j basically trying to expand voter registration. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a, a, a plot for years to try to restrict the uh, registration of voters, trying to make it harder to vote mm -hmm. uh, in a country that once you know prized voting for all people. Uh, so we we you know we saw that that that's one of the things. Uh, they want to uh, implement uh, gerrymandering, uh, trying to get rid of, you know, trying to draw lines to um, basically restrict certain people from being able to vote. Uh, they cutting down on voter ID. Uh, you know, they they trying to cut down on voter ID. But with this bill, is trying to make sure that everybody basically has that right uh, to come in and vote uh, and and not getting restricted and, and no being able to have the ability to, ability to vote. Mm -hmm. They want to make voting a national holiday. Um, to where, like, you know, yeah, where you don't have to necessarily, you know, go to work. It's a holiday for all. Go out, go vote, so we can keep lines kind of limited, uh, and where everybody has the ability to go vote free from work and things like that. So, but of course, you know, there's one type of person who's trying to go against that. Republicans, of course, of because course. they said, of course, too many people will vote. No, I do not want this law because too many. No, too many Democrats will vote. Was the exact words. Yep. Too many Democrats will vote. And yes, that's why, you know, they're exactly. against... Most people got to work on uh, like election day and shit. So. I've never been off on a Tuesday. Me neither. <laughs> I just have the luxury of getting off. But yeah, like, well, off. every job I've been able to work at, they say, hey, you can... They'll make a time. Mm -hmm. So... Have a little window. I don't want to give people a pass because most jobs is eight hours. But not not everybody have the luxury of those type of jobs either. Most people aren't able to leave work and go vote. No. But more. I don't have to leave work. I can vote before or I can vote after. So I don't want to give people a pass because most people can go out and vote. They're just lazy as fuck. What, what if people are working 12-hour shifts from 7 to 7? Then that's a problem. A lot of people do that. A lot, a <laughs> a lot, lot of people that's not that. voting is not working 12 hours a day. But I don't know. I ain't mean to get mixed up in that, but it should be a, a, a national holiday. And it's not a true democracy if the popular vote doesn't win out. It's just not. It should be one-on-one. -on -one. If my vote... I agree. If my vote in you get Alabama you means less than somebody's vote in Ohio... It's stupid. Yes. We're, we're the same one individual. So my vote should mean just as much as yours, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Of and, course. And of course. that's what makes people not vote. That's what makes people like, nah, fuck that. I ain't finna get up 30 minutes early. It means something to me. And I do, and I and I understand it. I understand that though, some of those people in the hood, yes, you should want to go vote, go vote 
in order to get out of those circumstances. But when you're in that, because I, I was at a point where I was in it, man, like in college and in, in high school, coming out of high school, I didn't think about voting. I didn't give a fuck about politics. But now I'm at a point in my life where I know I need to vote. And that's because I'm not in the same place I was 10, 15 years ago. But if I, I, if I was in that same place, living in the same circumstances, I probably wouldn't vote. But that's what they're scared of because people that was your age is, is much more well-informed now. But there's a lot of people my age who come from where I come from who don't vote. And that's, not, that's because they're not more informed or because nothing's being done for them. That's, that could be true. But what I'm saying is the youth is, is more informed now. Youth and they're is. leaning yeah, 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 yeah. more towards Democratic. I agree. I agree. So they have to fuck up the rules even more to make it even fair for them. That's no but our it. president is there and three million people voted for the loser. So that just shows you how fucked up our system is. Three million. Man, you should be able to vote on your phone. I mean, that's tough because you know but these days, you know what I'm saying, hackers and and you can have multiple cell phones. It's tough, and you can have multiple. Emails. Maybe not on the phone, but like if a I national can, holiday. If I can log into my bank account from my phone and be able to send a signal from my my phone to my bank account, they they can figure out a way to. Be able to let me vote from that motherfucker. It got to be a way. Now, don't get me wrong. There's hackers, but we just see that shit. The way that we've been voting lately, shit. Hackers that are getting a hold of too. that shit, too. So, it got to it got to be something. Some kind of way that that Trump going to have 8 up. million phones in his pocket. God. But, um... Apple figured out a way to, to make me look at my phone and know it's me. Right. We can that figure out true. a way how to vote. Like you can't put your face on my phone. So let's do that with voting. Put your face on that motherfucker. Face vote. Face vote. Face <laughs> vote. Face vote. Hey. We gonna come up with that motherfucker hey, app. Hey. <laughs> Delete that shit. Yeah. That's how it, hey, face, face vote. Face Apple, vote. holla at us, man. We, hey, we want to work. Yeah. But um, I don't know if y'all saw, man, I, in, in sports, man. Did y'all see Forbes released uh, some of the most profitable uh, Nick. colleges of... College football teams I mean, of 2018. Um, just going over, I'm not going to go. go yeah. I think I could name probably. Oh, yeah, Texas a was number big one. Money, big money, big $148 million, uh, was their revenue Damn with a profit of 107 dang. Probably Texas. I th- yeah, Texas was in there. Of course, Alabama Texas. was number five. Michigan somewhere in there? Yeah, they was on there. Notre Dame somewhere? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Notre Dame, Dame was on there, but they was like 14, yeah, like 12, Dame. something like that. Um, I thought you was going with when you said that like profitable organizations or schools. Well, nowadays schools are organizations, but I thought you were talking about the Knicks. The Knicks are worth four billion dollars. First NBA team to be worth that, even and with all trash. of trash. Exactly, even with all of their turmoil in the past. However, four they're worth four billion dollars this morning. Goddamn. Um, but that's crazy. Uh, that number for college is growing and growing and growing. Man, you gonna have to pay these kids. You should be paying these kids, man. It's it's only That's right. A lot of revenue that you generate. Where, what other institution makes that much money off of its kids or its people, its employees, and don't pay them? Name one other place. <laughs> one other place. You can't name one, but like we've argued a number of times, it's gonna be real hard to figure out the pay scale. That just means somebody smart gonna have to figure it out. And then somebody still gonna, even if it's fair. It's not gonna be fair to them. Maybe, maybe Apple does it. Face fair, make it fair. Apple, <laughs> shit, you doing everything else. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could. I, that nigga just said face fair. <laughs> figure it out, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, somebody could figure it out. Something gonna stick. We yeah, gonna figure out some shit to get rich. <laughs> shit, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, you can find a way to pay these kids, man. You, you already pay them, so I feel like if you can pay them, you can find a way to pay them a little bit more. Man, I figure um, this is just being a non-athlete. Like you don't think they should be paid? Huh? No, no. They are paid, not paid su- su- substantially. Mm-hmm. So just a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And hey, I'm big on free scholarship, stipend. That's cool. My big thing is let me make money off my likeness. Yeah. And no other, you know, mm-hmm. and whatever. I agree. Even at UAB, y'all could sign scholarship. I mean, sign papers for a dollar. You know what I'm saying? That's still. Could get you through the mud or whatever. You could advertise with the local, you know what I'm saying, mom and pop store. And I'm, today at work, 
I got a picture of myself hanging up a UAB picture. I work with this guy. He a huge UAB fan. I'm like, hey man, when you get a chance, print me out one of the pictures. I buy it from you. Yeah. And this is how many years? Thirteen years later. Thirteen now, years later. Now that same guy was a fan of you back then. If he's a huge UAB fan, mm -hmm. so if it's a your jersey, what you was like number ten. Mm -hmm. Uh, off the uh, Eugene guy from uh, no. Grambling. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's why you went. Herb North. Tyler. Her, he went to my high school. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Herb Eugene Tyler. Guy no, from, Herb Tyler. From, no, Eugene guy. No, okay. uh, <laughs> if you want to sign that jersey and nigga pay $50 for it. Let me get that. Cool. Let me get that. If you got tattoos in college, if you want to shout out somebody on your Instagram mm -hmm. and he gave you a free tattoo and a couple of dollars, cool. Nine days you see they could even... In that Ohio State shit got the boys and big yeah. but I, I don't know. I think we did talk about this not too long ago about these tattoo um, artists suing uh, players because of their tattoos and video games and shit like that, and so right. they drew it. Yeah, because y'all did. We talked about it. Uh, never, I don't it was a Vegas. Um, that nigga made that up with that CT. No, it was it was a it was a Vegas artist. He was suing LeBron because his tattoo was in uh, NBA 2K. He felt like. He was using his likeness. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like... That's crazy. He's, I feel like he, I paid you pending. for your that's work tough. already. I know, right. but it's still my work. Yeah. I guess... I don't know. I guess Just like we have a logo. Only, only thing they're going to do is, is start fucking their shit up. Like, nigga, niggas going to make you... Make you Find sign paper, some shit yeah. before, I, before I do it. Disclosure. But if not, I'm not going to go to you. And it's going to be plenty of you who going to come out who going to want to do it, who will sign a disclosure for me to pay you... A thousand dollars for this tattoo. So that, either and, you, yeah, you fucking up your own. And that's going that's gonna have to be what's next. Cause like I, I don't know, if we talked about this, but I think we did about the pictures, the photographers taking the pictures. And if you post that picture on your social media, yeah, I if see you post that it. picture on, on their Forbes. social, yeah, it's a uh, NBA two K uh, tattoo copyright suit offers two compelling legal arguments, but only one seems practical. Yeah. And, but but now but now that I read that though, it does like it says two K. So. The video game licensed it, not Brun. Like, if if they, I know, but the artist is still suing them. That's what's the video crazy. game. I thought. I mean, and I'm and I could be it's, wrong. That's still I, crazy. I don't know, but the artist is suing because his yeah, because you video game. I, I, okay, like I just said, like if I if I draw a painting and I put it on the wall and the video game put it in the wall, mm -hmm. like my painting in that wall, that is my art. You didn't ask me to use my art. But that's LeBron James. I, I get it, but you use <laughs> my art. Okay, I, I, so. I guess what I'm saying is, I guess what I'm saying is, when you first said it, I thought that they were suing Brun directly. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, that's what I was. I did Brun. too, but I still have the same problem with it. So yeah, it's still it's, crazy. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. It's no different. So if I'm in the NBA and uh, NBA 2K pitches will be with a lineup, should my barber be able to sue? And LeBron James on NBA 2K, like I want my tattoos on 2K. But what happened? What ha what happened to today's entrepreneur? To me, it'd be like, hey, man, you I'm know, you know, such and such at uh, tattoo zone did that tattoo, mm -hmm. and that's gonna make more people. Man, LeBron got that tattoo from that. I like, did that. LeBron make more tattoo. people come. Hey, come on in. I did that one. I want hey. you to. I don't want to sue but, you to take but, my shit off. That's the a game. different kind of money. Because now what's gonna end up happening is like, fuck it. We're not gonna. We're gonna put well, with no tattoos on there. I, I don't think it's not put it on the game. It's pay me for it being on the game. Yes, so. but now but yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, no. hey, no, no tattoos on the game no more. Now nobody gets paid. But like, also throwing his name out the there, throwing his name out there might. Might make him more money. But like this tattoo artist is suing. And it might make other people go to him. To be fair, Brian tattoo is trash. <laughs> Since high school. Hey, yeah, to be fair. I mean, he had trash. the early high school. You know how they when you first go get trash. the early tattoo. Mm -hmm. They'd be a little different. You can get them whole for fifty two dollars. Brian got jail. Versus tattoo. when you get a little older, you can afford to pay two, three hundred dollars for a tattoo. You can tell nigga. That's all it takes. Got them little early high school tattoo versus the goddamn, oh, I done made it. I got a career tattoo. That should be different. Y'all agree with the uh, NFL MVP, Pat Mahomes? You don't know. I don't Pat. have a. I don't have a graph against it. It's not. It's. I mean, it's hard to argue against it. You Who see, would you put above him? A lot of people wanted Drew Brees. You know, of course, the the football. Can't argue a lot with of that people either. from the same place that you're from. <laughs> Just in general, people. By Twitter. That I'm, you not, to? I'm not from Twitter. Twitter, nigga. Uh oh. Twitter and reporters and those I mean, that maybe went to the some of the same high schools you went to? No. Oh. 
So you got a vast it's, it's, Twitter following. Where you get it? You just follow Twitter. You boy. Only New Orleans niggas saying that shit. Fuck no, Drew Brees. No. Patrick Mahomes is I just, okay. I just said reporters. I just said Twitter. I follow I mean, a lot of people who's not from there. I, I no, feel like... I I feel just, like Patrick Mahomes is just, okay. I just heard Mustagi say, I can see that. I mean, I, I feel like Patrick Mahomes, like... He, I think he was the... I think he was the MVP, though. I feel huh? like he's deserving of it, but I mean, I could see somebody wanting to make a case for Drew Brees, but no, sorry. Patrick Mahomes. No, nothing to talk about. Look, they, they, they wanted to base it off more so career than just season. You know I'm Staying in um, sports news, we saw that... Um, I don't know if anybody had a chance to see it, but it was long rumored that Russell Wilson... Um, bought Sierra, uh, his wife, her masters for Christmas. Well, just recently in an interview, Sierra basically came out and kind of confirmed uh, the reports that she does own all the masters to her recordings. Uh, not only does she own it, the rumors are true that Russell Wilson basically inquired a require shit inquired require whatever the fuck the fuck inquired. Leave me alone. <laughs> but she she he bought all her masters. Did y'all see this shit? And if so, what y'all think about that? That's dope, man. Yeah, I did see Russell acquire her masters. And I think it was it was pretty dope of him, you know what I'm saying? Uh and that was for Christmas. I don't, what was the reasoning they waited so long to what's today? February? What's, what's well, the it, reasoning? They say the masters is worth many millions of dollars. It don't say the the actual word, but mm -hmm. uh it was worth many a lot millions. of millions. Uh and that basically came from a music exec who said like that was millions of dollars worth of masters purchase. And I'm sure I'm sure it has to be a big deal if they're making a story of it like that. You know what I'm saying? So he did spend millions of dollars, reportedly, on it. Right, and they said it was from a Christmas gift in 2017. We just finally hearing about it. I think, I mean, me personally, I just feel like, um, you know, they're married. So, you know, as a husband, it's, it's dope. Theirs. It's dope, you know what I'm saying? To, yeah, it's theirs, you know what I mean? And it's dope as a, as a husband to, to be able not only to provide, but to, you know, if it's something that you you're in business with, and it's something that you're doing, mm -hmm. let me help you. We're a team. Let me help you be able to, you know, acquire, you know, what you worked and put your effort into. Like, if I can do it, allow me to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so now that, that 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 happens, she she own her records. Those are hers to do whatever she want. Um, you know, when you do own your masters, those are licensing. Uh, when movies want to use your songs or video games want to use your songs, they got to come directly through you. So that money keeps making money. You know what I'm saying? All the royalties keep coming directly to you and you own it. So I think that's dope. Shouts out to Russell Wilson for that. Um, I think it's dope. So December 25th, but hey, baby, I bought you a masters. Worth a million dollars. This is residual income. You know, every time somebody listens to this song, uh, we're getting paid for it. But around uh, January 9th, 10th, hey, I don't want to see you going back and forth with Future over no goddamn child support. Fuck that nigga. We good over here. That's just how I think. Hey, maybe y'all think different, but that's just how I think about it. I hate you. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty dope, man. And there's only one way that Sierra could make up for this. She got to buy my man a time machine. So he can <laughs> hand it off on 4th and 1 to Marshall Lynch. And, he have and get Super the Bowl Super Bowl, ring. man. Yeah. God, hand the fucking ball off. Exactly. So, Russell, you're the man of 2019. I bet you won't can't buy that playback, nigga. Shit. You don't know. want to buy, buy Masters it. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> buy that damn ball, playback, man. goddamn. Hand the fucking ball off, Russell. Exactly. <laughs> but nah. Give yeah. Marshall on the goodies. No homo. That's dumb. <laughs> but um, moving on into the dummy of the week. Uh, dummy, St dummy, stupid dummy. ass. This nigga the ultimate dummy. God damn. Fucking dumbass dummy. Um, he lucky he hit a beat of a dummy. Should have left his ass. Right, like, <laughs> nigga, you, you wouldn't even be the dummy if it wasn't for what they did, dummy. I don't know. You don't, uh, so let's go back and redo it. Kill yourself, fuck nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that a man wants to sue his parents for giving birth to him. Yeah. That's what I, I said it right. You don't a man it. wants to sue his parents for giving birth to him without his consent. Uh, in Mumbai, India, a 27 year old man, a self described anti uh, nationalist um, in Mumbai, basically said that, uh, I mean, he's been going viral because he said that he wants to sue his parents because he did not give them consent to give birth to him. Mm. I know that sounds crazy as fuck, but this is really a story. Uh, did y'all see that shit, man? And if so, what the fuck y'all thinking about it? I saw it and I wonder how he would have signed the letter of consent. 
How does that work? You know what I'm saying? Like, stop being an idiot, bro. You, you lucky that you're here to be the dummy of the week. Be happy, <laughs> dummy. I saw something where he was basically saying that, um, like, at one point, he was a normal kid. Uh, and one day, he was very frustrated. He didn't want to go to school. He asked his parents. He kept asking them, you know, why he had to go to school. Um, and, and and basically, with that, his dad answered, like, no, you have to go to school because school is educational. He said, why did y'all have me? And that's what kind of sparked when they couldn't really ask, like, answer, I guess, give him a reason that he felt was good enough about uh, why did you have me? Mm -hmm. uh, that's when my man felt like, uh, yeah, it was time to sue. You say he was <laughs> a regular kid. I can guarantee he was never a regular kid. Never, because, <laughs> like, I never even said I was going to call somebody. My mama used to threaten me with that anyway. Call 911, you want to. Call DHR. Yeah, I, hope, I hope they come get your ass. I'm, <laughs> they can hey, have your ass. I'm going to pack all your shit up. They can have your ass. You could go outside right, right now. Good. Yeah, I ran away for about eight hours. I came back. Nigga, I ran away to <laughs> so my grandma's house for a time. Nigga, I had to I go. Never I, pull I, I went sit at the bus stop. Yeah. I ain't had nowhere to go. <laughs> Nigga went sit at the bus stop and just sit there. Nigga, I went and walked up the street and called my grandma. She came and got me. <laughs> that nigga walked up the street. <laughs> I'm running away. Shit, wait, getting dog wait, 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 wait. Why? I mean, fuck. <laughs> I. I Hey, he's a dummy. Hey, fuck all that. I just learned some new shit. I want to know why you ran away, though, who? I, I don't even remember. I was like 12, 13. Probably had to come home, come inside early. Do you remember why you ran away? I really don't even remember. remember. Why? Uh, my mama was watching Oprah. <laughs> my mama was watching Oprah. This shit's starting bad already. Was on we, had, uh, we had just got cable. I wanted, to watch, time, I, had, I, I wanted to watch, I had, I wanted to watch like BT, uh, The Basement or something like that. Was it only on one TV at that time? Yeah, or? one TV. Gotcha. Yeah. So, because she was out the room. So I thought I could watch BT while she not in the room. Mm -hmm. She come back in the room. What you turn it off for? Oh, damn, mama. Don't turn my goddamn TV. I mean, I got to take this shit. You ran away over Oprah. <laughs> that nigga ran away over Oprah guy. So I walk it. Like I gotta take this shit That nigga say he ran away Cause he had to watch Oprah I went Maybe about a half a mile Cause this one Cell phone time 14 Maybe 13, 14 Went to the gas station uh, Used their phone Mama Cause I called my grandmother <laughs> Mama And my mama Her maid, I mean her uh, First name so I was like, uh... Disrespectful. I was like, Mama Charlotte tripping. She done put me out over Oprah. Baby, where you at? I come get you. Because, you know, in your, in your grandmama, you could never do anything wrong. Well, I couldn't. Never. So, uh, she can't pick me up. Well, what's so crazy, we was supposed to go to the shoe station to get my, uh, my, uh, uniform shoes. So there's going to be some nice Timberless. Got you some Pele shoes. My... Every time, <laughs> penis. My mama so trifling. Probably some shit like XJ Nine, uh -huh. Roger Creek or some shit, <laughs> River <laughs> Creek or <laughs> like some off brand. Boy, like said, the they body. used to be so trash. My grandma be like, "Man, you want to go shop?" I get excited. We go right there to Payless, get them XJ Nine, and I'm like, "Fuck you about this shit, fuck!" I be <laughs> mad and shit. Be trying to hide them hoes up under your bed. Your homeboy come over to play the game and find them hoes right. and shit. <laughs> no, but like this is my mama, so this was shoes I was supposed to be wearing. No, we the fuck with you. You had on the no, lucky boy. No, we had them. Okay, who lucky ball? boy? Uh, That's who we call anything? XJ nine hundred. XJ nine hundred. Them hoes. We them hoes look just like Jordans lucky with the ball. little uh, basketball on them. <laughs> Ooh, I, it's a Ew, lot of nigga. I don't give a fuck how how you try to be privileged, nigga. You had them XJ nine hundred. I ain't had on the XJs though. You yeah, just talked about them. The XJs. What the nigga just said? You did just say you XJ nine hundred. No, I don't give a fuck. I had a, a pair of XJ nine hundreds, and I was real mad about them hoes, and I hid them hoes up under the bed. And one of my homeboys found them hoes. <laughs> they had to hide them hoes. Right I got yeah. company. Put them shoes on the bed. <laughs> Hey, I don't give a fuck. I had a pair of XJ 900s. Oh. Those hoes were horrible. I tried to hide them hoes from the world. I wasn't hiding them bitches from the, uh, what uh, Drake said. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to hide them hoes. The bitches I got, wasn't hiding my kid. I was hiding my kid from the world. Man, the bitches got discovered. I tell you that. I want y'all to see how dope these was. Man, as soon as the bitches got discovered, them niggas janked the shit out my ass about them hoes. Good job. They were hey, supposed to. Uh, the, I didn't hey, buy them bitches shit. You, hey, but talking I was about... I was forced to wear them. <laughs> I, I'd have tossed them up. I hey, ain't never that stick kid my foot gotta in. be at least about one by now, though. 
Drake kid. That nigga grown and I ain't seen him yet. Nah, he, he ain't grown. Him. He got to be grown. You know what I mean. One, maybe he, two. Pretty old not being seen. I ain't trying to see him, but. I feel them though, man. Keep your kid away from these people, man. I think you should. Talk about, I really think, think you should. Keep the baby. And I most of the big, if you think about the big name celebrities, do keep their kids. I don't think we've seen like Cardi. We, I think we've seen maybe one people. Yeah, I mean, Jay Z kids, they be you, you, one or two. They, I still didn't see them too. I, we ain't seen them. Like you, they waited a long time before you saw Blue. You know yeah. what I mean? And then now you see her every now and then, but you don't just see them every day. I don't think that's best. I mean, I ain't, I think I'm it not is too. I still ain't seen them twins. Y'all saw them twins. I think I saw a baby picture, but that thing. Them they gotta, gotta be, be like at least about two right now. Yeah, <laughs> <Half got it. laughs> we don't know, but um, yeah. Uh, what else we got, man? We missed anything? Nope. Uh, no, I ain't, I ain't got nothing else. Well, I, I guess shit. If we ain't got nothing else, uh, we'll be back next week like we never left. Cause like I told y'all, we never leave. Oh yeah, we gonna make sure Todd here too. <laughs> hey, we got the shirt in the honor of him over there, bitch. I know y'all can't see it unless we get this YouTube popping. Shout out with on the Dragons. They playing in um air championship tomorrow. But fuck yeah. Todd. They don't get a W. Fuck Todd and Bear. <laughs> that nigga said Bear. You got a victory. You got a W, cuz. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Dummies podcast. Yeah. We out. We out. You dig? Dummy, dummy, dummy.